<clears throat> Hello, how are you doing? How is everyone? Yeah, uh, by slightly uh, tricking you that it's the Russian Championship. The T is here, by the way. All good. And uh, watching uh, Anish Giri before the championship started. Uh, watching this Wolfpack member. And um, yeah. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Is it working? Guys, it's okay. Yeah, you can uh, hear me well. All good. What do you mean no sound? Guys, please confirm that it's fine. All good, right? Okay, so muted, let's start. And uh, let me check for the, let me check for the chat. Slow mode, 30 seconds, fine, safe. Cool, let's go. Um, Red Raja starts during the night, more or less. And it's still like what? It's just uh, not uh, 3 p.m. yet, but soon it will be like like at 5, 530 already. It's like kind of dark. Um, let me check the sound as well. Yeah, the sound is OK. Um, everyone who wants to mute is fine to do it right now. Anyway, a lot of chess content, as you know, as usual. Mm, happy to do that happy that you are all there and uh, could you tell me if this time is generally convenient for the streams um it's a natural light guys natural very very natural and um I was asked all the time about the hair, um, if it's a wig or not. So I put the wig since I'm zero years old. And until now it works. So let's see what Anish is doing there fast. Uh, yeah, it's pretty bad for him. I think around there he sacrificed the bishop on b5 was there yeah just here like before this um, okay around here it was all good as you know so rook g3 was possible bishop f2 is also very natural queen d8 and now he had probably to develop as a bishop g2 probably a normal move here he was thinking about some rook takes this three stuff so if he was kind of scared about it he had to defend it with rook g3 at some point then he went knight d5 here rook h2 came uh rook g2 even though bishop g2 maybe was better but okay rook g2 takes ah no rook h1 yeah and now again rook g3 was better he went some queen f3 still okay queen c7 attacking c2 and now bishop e3 was the mistake maybe bishop g3 was the move but very unpleasant to put the bishop there, but actually it was better. So bishop b3, now knight f6. What was the problem after bishop g3, knight f6 here? It's rook gg2, controlling d5 and stuff. Still, I mean, I would prefer to be playing as black here, but uh, yeah, bishop e3, knight f6, um, bishop b5. Yeah, and uh, so... So bishop e3, knight f6, bishop b5. Already after knight f6 position is bad. Somehow the pieces are discoordinated. You cannot go anymore I can st from far. I mean, I saw he saw this position from far, but um, what did he think here? Let's try to imagine what was Anish thought here. He thought maybe rook gg2 
and he probably realized that there's knight takes d5 rook takes d5 let's say queen c2 king let's say a2 or a1 and there is a very uh, nice move rook h2 but also rook c3 is, is possible here because of the bishop on e3 yeah so this is uh this is bad so he took there on b5 a b rook h1 knight d5 bishop d2 but position is completely lost knight f4 rook h8 now uh, yeah black is just collecting everything c2 is hanging as well bishop f8 queen d1 bishop g2 like uh, clear piece down here and position is completely lost now he was playing it um, just because it's a rapid game here maybe not that much time but uh, this is completely lost let's see what happened later takes which one check check and two in the seven check queen c7 takes king e6 still very much winning i don't know why he had to to give this b5 pawn but still it's very winning so takes takes rook f8 b4 okay i mean grishu created some kind of complications but it's like four pawns so it's completely winning let's see the rest rook d1 yeah now rook uh, will come to you know to d5 probably at some point uh, and okay four pawns even few pawns there would be enough probably with the king together they will march the b pawn is still far and you know like rook d5 is just coming and at some point he can just give the rook for the pawn and uh, you know the pawns uh, black pawns will march and queen at some point together with the king and uh, black is certainly completely winning so let's see how it ends and then uh, start the Russian championship. Uh, it starts in like eight minutes It's a classical time control it's um, It's a very strong tournament as usual, especially now, you know that everybody is more or less at their homes and uh, uh, They were able, uh, you know to have the the best field Pity that Grishuk is not playing uh, would be even even more fun. So let's see what happens here and uh yeah let me see the chat so chat how is everyone there a <laughs> silent ad rate let me see what you're writing there silent ad rate yeah let's do ad rate not silent isha dutta is saying that uh, we don't know this serious raja yeah uh dipanch and dutta says that tanya disliked your stream one dislike oh yeah oh yeah <laughs> no tanya is a very good person to do that for sure she would never do that even if she didn't like the stream she would just uh tell me directly in dms okay ad rate is there um yeah guys i'm in yeah when i was in uh, azerbaijan the super chats they didn't work there and uh as i'm in russia in moscow it's possible to change the uh, country without any tricks or anything i'm really uh, here now for a long time so yeah anyway everybody was asking to enable super chats thank you also for the super chats of course guys but i mean everybody was asking it and now there is uh, minus one topic you know in the chat so nobody's asking why why is there no super chat and stuff also have to um, do another thing which is kind of uh, always there is about the mods should ask about the mods and uh, find the mods for for the channel we'll do that as well mm, actually have to check if somia is uh, is a mod on my channel i guess she is um ad podcast at some point AD lost to whom? Oh, he's playing there, yeah. With the uh, with the uh, he he was telling me that he will be there with Shagar, I think, at some point. Guys, yeah, we will decide for the mods. Yesterday, I mean, uh, Tanya made some kind of uh, test for you, right? And uh, mod invitational. Animesh Mukherjee is saying mod invitational. Puky eleven is there. Um. 
PQ11 is hiding its profile. It's not unclear who is the person. Good one for sure, but uh, very tricky. Not uh, revealing, not revealing uh, himself or herself. Uh, Sandy Boyan is saying, "We love you, Raja. Lots of love from India to Zebako Kadako. Thank you so much. Thank you, Sandy, for the for the wishes. And um, let me see what's there." Oh, actually, I don't know why I'm glowing today. I didn't sleep uh, much at all. I was, uh, I was what? I was reading, working on my um, streaming ideas. There are some nice ideas I want to implement, but still need some time to work them out. Also on the academy, chess academy. Also some contracts and stuff, so I had to take care of them. Uh, meditating as well, meditation. And uh, <laughs> what else? What else? Tea time I had. Uh, thought about today's stream. Um, was listening to uh, some nice reasons not to uh, make the podcast for a while. Saw all of his clips. He sold his soul to already so many companies that I don't know exactly um, which place he will take in the next uh, Comic Stan Forbes list. And uh, waiting now for, waiting now for Russian Championship to start. Uh, yeah, so the super, super chat with the, you are the best man and also both us. Yeah, 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 yeah. Agreed, agreed. Greedy, greedy. So, um, Wolfpack gang. Yeah. So let me see, let me see what else is there. How fast is the chat? Is it uh, faster? Is it uh, too slow? Ayush Handelwal is saying that bo boho test means uh, very fast. Yeah. Yeah, by the way, uh, like I don't know if it's Tez there, like, or is it Tez? Because it's like uh, in Azerbaijan also like Tez means like uh, fast as well. Guys, thank you so much for love. Uh, love you, Raj is like what? Come on, guys. Thank you so much. I've seen this hearts uh, for a long, long, long time without Super Chats, so I know that you love me. It's fine, guys. It's all good. It's all good. Uh, Sharon Sin says, love you, sir. Guys, I, I feel like, uh, you know, is it the uh, Indian Twitter? I mean, not the Indian Twitter. I mean, India and Tinder that is supporting this for now. Is it? Is it? Thank you guys from Indian uh, Tinder. I can see that uh, already too many people love me, even though I didn't even share my uh, photos, profile, uh, interests. And um, yeah. <laughs> Manosage Basso says you have a black screen instead of green screen you can use it for a lot of purposes shoot threatening videos maybe oh no man no man I'm against uh, all these bad things but um, I can make the like the threatening videos uh, to my opponents that I'm studying their lines and uh, preparing the novelties and stuff but not the rest the rest uh, <laughs> it's a good joke but um, yeah certainly I'm against all that stuff but Threatening videos to opponents with the uh, amazing novelties I can do together with Anish actually, who is a very good theoretician. Today he also got a great position with uh, with Grishuk, and um, yeah, but unfortunately he just uh, misplayed it. But it happens certainly. Position is very sharp, very very sharp. Um, Aprameya says that did you buy some nice shirts? Hmm. He makes shirts even. Or oh, Shivam says that AD watching me on mute. Okay, man. Yeah, 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 got it, got it, got it. I always told to the guys that me, um, you have to watch on mute because I also don't know when I start to you know say bad things or some inappropriate words or something. 
can start at any moment. Any stream, there can be a surprise. So it's fine. Um, let me switch to the Russian Championship and see if they have started. Um, yeah. Russian Championship Super Final. Uh, Russian Women's Championship Super Final Round 1. Where I was not allowed to play is also starting. And this one, let's see. Okay, okay. Antipov, I mean, he's a very creative guy usually, Antipov. He's playing against Sergei now, Karyakin. And uh, yeah, okay, Italian. Let's see how they develop the pieces there. Mm. Okay, this. Um, let me see what you're writing there. So, Apu Ravasti says, Loved one way you so passionately spoke about Talon Brunstein the other day. Please share more about those legends if possible. Yeah, I think at some point maybe we'll have to see some games or stuff. I mean, like my favorite games or maybe games from the match, by the way. Um, also, the decisive game of the match, yeah, where Brunstein lost at some point and uh, lost his cool and, you know, uh, lost the title this way he could become a world champion actually he went for playing against Patvinik uh, as a great contender and he he played 12-12 uh, that match 12-12 which was uh, very hard to do against Patvinik at the time as well and uh, he was playing great chess um, yep rooting for Karyakin please suggest tricks to remember opening lines uh, yeah, I mean, the best thing is to, to, to repeat the lines most of the time. I mean, to get um, like kind of uh, some kind of knowledge there, analyze the lines uh, with the engine and uh, see the best games. Uh, this way you will uh, really uh, memorize it well, because I mean, it's also some kind of patterns that you remember there. And uh, then it's not necessary exactly to remember all the time the move order. You remember it like by, by schemes. And uh, yeah, this is the way from time to time to do this, of course. I mean, it's just like... Um, just like learning it is also possible, especially if you have a great, uh, great memory. But usually it's better to understand it first. Okay, so Bishop G5 already came as a kind of surprise. I've told you that Antipov is a very original player. I mean, it's like um, he's a very specific player. Like, I mean, he's very unique in this uh, in this sense. I mean, he, he likes some kind of unusual ideas all the time or some kind of unclear play. So you see, I mean, he started with some calm Italian and now he goes for Bishop G5, which is a very, very tricky line. And um, Karakin certainly knows what he's doing here, but uh, probably he didn't repeat the line before the game, which is also sometimes on a high level important to repeat the lines before, before you go. I mean, everybody is repeating something for sure, but uh, this he probably didn't expect. I will not check now for the Antipov's games. Probably uh, he never played this line. That's why uh, Sergei didn't repeat. So let's see. Let's see the reaction. Usually H6 uh, and all that stuff. Also, uh, d6, queen e7 stuff is possible here, but I mean, not now exactly, because I mean, if you play now d6, queen e7, you go for knight c3, knight d5. I can get it. Um, bishop e7 is a possible way, but usually h6 is played first, I think. Pity we don't have Anish here, he would explain uh, all the subtleties now, but uh, bishop e7 in exactly this position, I think it's a bit too early. A bit too early. Um, Can you say, no, you can say a lot too early, <laughs> a bit too early, it's fine. Love your content, Raj, all the best in the Champions Tour, and hope to see a podcast with Samai soon. Yeah, guys, yeah, you have to press that guy. Uh, don't don't buy the products that he, uh, he advertises maybe for some time, and uh, then uh, he will come back to Raj and say, man, what did you do? My uh, advertisement doesn't work. What is it there about the... Mm -hmm. Let me see what else is there. Uh, Hatch Patel clock is stopped. Yeah, I mean, let's not care much because, uh, you know, the problem is that when I'm switching uh, off and on from the on and off um, uh, from Safari uh, to the stream where I see your chats, um, I don't know why why is it this way but um the safari starts to freeze when you are not there like uh exactly in the tab and then it's like it's like frozen on obs but i'll check it out later maybe with uh, with chrome is better mm. 
Uh, what about the timing on this, um, you know, the chat's slow mode? Is it better to put 30 seconds or less? There's not too many people there now, so uh, we can probably switch to... What do you think, guys? Mm, Akshay Bhatia says, Max sucks. Well, man, I like it, actually. I don't know, I like it. I agree for some things, maybe Windows is better, but... Uh... Manosic Basu says, this looks like actual tea, Raja. The tea in Russia is clear and <laughs> more transparent. Hint it's made from potatoes. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. No, but I, I just really like to drink tea from the transparent glass. Somehow, um, I like to see it. It's cool. Different type of uh, uh, transparent glasses I've used, as you know, uh, on many, many streams. Very different. Like this as well. It's used for, I mean, this I'm drinking water, but also tea is a possibility. So it's cool. So, 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 so. Um, so, I lo love streams. Okay. Hi, Roger. Love your streams. It's stress relief after the hectic work. Love you. Keep entertaining us. And good luck for your future games. Thank you so much, man. Hi, Roger. Love your streams. Did you, Sanjay Krishna? Hi, Roger. Love your streams. Did you get when you are in Moscow? When you go back to Azerbaijan, will it be disabled? Sanjay Krishna, I don't know. I mean, I certainly. I'm not thinking too much about this, but uh, probably we will see. We will see. We will see how it works. Um, yeah, now in Moscow it works. I mean, all together. So uh, monetization uh, probably works in Azerbaijan as well. Uh, yeah, we'll check it out. I'm certainly not not a huge professional in this. Otherwise, uh, uh, you know that my bo boomer moments would be completely different and would become a pro at least in OBS. Um, Jatin Goyal says, why Anish is invited for Russian championship? He's not uh, Russian. No, 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 man. I mean, he's not invited there. Um, yeah, it was just the um, Danjo online super tournament that they're playing now. And uh, I've just turned it on before the Russian championship event because there were, there were like, uh, what, 10 minutes left. So, yeah. Uh, Pavan Patil says, I've been to Moscow last year it's really it's really a good city yeah it's cool it's cool you mean attaching another monitor practicing yeah i can also use notebook maybe yeah just for easier chat reading and stuff um okay let me see what happens there Nothing happens there. It's cool. That's why uh, probably people love classical chess because nothing happens for 20 minutes. For me, it's convenient because we can talk and uh, I think it's fine. So we can always talk and you see that still, I mean, we're talking for a long time already, chat and me, of course. But Antipov is thinking for five minutes already, five minutes and 10 seconds on one move. Otherwise, imagine in the, in a rapid game, already half of the game would be played after this, after our talks. And as you say, let's say some some games finished, some games started. Oh, Raja, you are still talking. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now enjoy this. Enjoy the moment. Enjoy the moment. Um. So what else? What else? What else? Okay, let me read the rest. Raja, can you say? Um, I don't know what that means, so I'll not. Be, I I better don't repeat that. Hi, Taymor. Are you same Taymor as Taymor the Lane? The Lane? The Great King? You mean the lame Lane? Well, which one, Taymor the Lane? Let me check. Let Let me check. The lame, maybe you meant, yeah. I guess. Um, probably it comes from there, the name. But I'm not the same guy. What do you think? I'm like what? Thousand years old. I look, I look like I'm thousand years old, but yeah. 
but still I'm not. I am not. But the, the name comes from there, I think. Yeah, the, the uh, origins are from, from that name, I guess. Um, Nitin, Vish Nitin Vishwakarma is asking, do you have, do you had played any game with Vishya Anand? So I mean, have, have you played uh, any game with Vishya Anand? Um, yes. Rohi Kumar is asking, how does one improve his her middle game? Well, it's a, it's a long process. Yeah, it's a long process, man. And uh, certainly uh, depends on the level, but you have to study games of the grades. And as well, there is a lot of material in general available there online. Uh, certainly tactics that you have to, um, uh, to solve, the puzzles and stuff, combinations, all this. And um, mm, also play a lot of games, practical games, because then you, then you can learn from your mistakes and maybe check it with the engine, with the coach, depends uh, who you are working with, or if you're working on your own, then the engine is very helpful nowadays. It's cool. It's very cool. Um, Teddy Finger says, you are good, you should play chess. I like such comments. Harsh Arora is asking, Raja, why is Grishuk not playing in this tournament? I have no idea. I will ask. I will ask and let you know. Um, Aditya Jen is saying no more Red Raja anymore. I hope, but this will uh, be ruined by probably uh, just uh, by a few hours of time. I mean, in in few hours, we'll be back Red Red Raja because it will be dark outside and uh, the vampire comes on the stage. Um, yeah. Have you seen the Queen's Gambit yet? Yeah, I've seen the, I've seen some of the episodes and now watching it already like, like it should be watched, focused, checking all that stuff there, what they're showing, the chess content from time to time as well. Mm, I like the way it's made. And uh, of course, uh, the way that she's going through, I mean, like all this process of like, um, in terms of, um, she's like kind of introvert there and so on. And I mean, she's getting it hard. I mean, all this trainings and all that stuff. And, but she's always thinking about chess and all this and uh really obsessed with the game which is good i think and yeah that's uh, i think that's nice that's nice the way it's done and um yeah now watching the series yeah hey Temur, you should wear the glasses arka gosh is saying uh the glasses while streaming looks like tom cruise yeah it's cool it's cool i'll think about it I was wearing glasses at some point. Um, could you share the story of Linares Kasparov game? Oh, Mahesh, I mean, there is a there is a huge uh, analysis, not huge, but analysis that I've made on the channel. And uh, you can see the video there. I think I'm sharing some of the thoughts as well, just generally on the game. So please check it out. And uh, yeah, at some point I will, of course, but uh, otherwise we will not see the games of the championship at all even though Antipov is helping us and thinking already for how many minutes for 11 minutes almost um dev rupnach is asking has the daco from bako gone from trillionaire to billionaire ps what kind of wine do you like it can be as specific as you want um from trillionaire to billionaire it depends on which currency first of all and um, I don't want to disappoint you. So that's why. Which currency? Which currency? Which currency? Let me see which currency I'm a trillionaire in. Zimbabwean dollar, maybe. To USD. Um, is it? Or not? 
one USD to Zimbabwean dollar. One USD is three hundred sixty one thousand. Yeah, then probably I can be. Mm, is it? Is it right what I'm reading there? Let me see. So guys, tell me, tell me if I'm right about the wine. Well, I mean, depends. Can be red wine from time to time, some glasses or uh, um, yeah, red. I like, but also orange wine is cool. But OK, I'm not such a heavy drinker. So, yeah, of course, uh, I mean, it's just uh, uh, like enjoying the glass or or two is fine. But still, yeah, it's I'm. Uh, how can I call myself the top GM? or something so i try to have it like you know strict on these things quite much but uh yeah in case i take wines like red normally and um i mean us zinfandel is fine uh italian valpolicella is good and all that stuff uh a lot of a lot of wines actually yeah a lot of wine brands and stuff are good, but I mean, there are so many hard to hard to really um, point on one. But if I would say just one brand, maybe Zinfandel would be the choice in that case. Um, yeah. Silly question. Manas Dadic is asking, what do you prefer to fight in a horror movie vampires or zombies by the way you should be pro podcaster oh thank you man but um in horror movie hmm zombies maybe it's fine zombies is okay i am myself a vampire from time to time on the stream so it's okay um yeah I've got a new keyboard, yeah, yeah, yeah. My man Jafar Zadeh is asking uh, my compatriot. You got new keyboard? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yep. Good one, good one. And this company also sponsors one of the players, I think. Um, Yeah, Mahesh, uh, the classical games, they help to share the story. Yeah, they help a lot. I like it. And from time to time, I think that at some point there was a Linares tournament. And uh, was it um, Leko that spent one hour, one hour and 10 minutes or one hour and 20 minutes on one move? Uh, that was amazing. That was really amazing. I mean, we were all amazed. I mean, it happens sometimes 30, 40 minutes, but... One hour and ten was kind of uh, unbelievable. Yeah, so let me put the game. Okay, so he went knight c3, which is very logical, uh, as the pawn is still not on c3, so he can move the knight there and possibly uh, take on f6 at some point and, and play knight d5. So he went knight c3, d6, and now a4. It's hard to really understand the... Um, for many in this position why a4 is okay i also don't understand it that much i always uh, do this move because i know it, you have to, to make it but let's put it this way i mean without i mean jokes jokes aside uh a4 is a is an okay move in general in these positions um first of all in some way it protects the bishop on c4 against this knight a5 and uh black will just pick up the bishop on c4 so let's say now after the six uh d6 the threat was to go knight a5 and pick up this bishop and um say if uh he would go there knight a5 bishop b5 c6 let's say bishop a4 b5 and uh i mean black can pick up the bishop later on b3 almost at any moment and their position is very good but um now he goes he can go either a3 either a4 or something when let's say the pawn is there on c3 in this position so let's say imagine he goes c3 d6 and now castle short this knight a5 stuff usually doesn't work because of i mean it doesn't work to uh, uh, pick up the bishop so because bishop b5 c6 bishop a4 and after 
b5 here compared to the position where the pawn was on c2 and knight was on c3 here white just um, retreats the bishop to c2 and they have this kind of shelter for the bishop uh, that's why c3 is played many times uh, before a4 uh, instead of a4 uh, to kind of protect this bishop in advance and usually in this case when the pawn is on c3 uh, black goes at some point a6 or d6 or d6 and then a6 maybe from time to time and uh, then white already seeing let's say here they don't go h3 or something because again knight a5 is the possibility there is no more bishop b5 a4 c2 plan uh, so in this case usually white goes either a4 either bishop b3 usually with a bishop on c5 and they play this type of positions so after knight c3 he goes d6 threatens knight a5 a4 um, taking some kind of uh, space advantage on the flank also protecting against this knight a5 as i said um yeah now karakin's move let's also see some game okay let me see first the chat and then we'll see the games further so who's there in the chat artem if he's playing i'll show some games of uh, everyone here i mean it's not only karakin that we're going to see Hajj gujarati says uh, my first super chat ever to any youtuber love you raja thank you uh Harsh, Harsh Gujarati, Harsh Vidit Gujarati. So, uh, yeah, let me see the games. Branch Singh says, Stop at Diban Raja. What's happening there with the AD? As usual, something is wrong. Uh, do you find uh, the group Naha says do you find the conversation of elitism in chess funny since chess itself is an elitist game ps3 linear thing was a callback of your joke yeah 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 i understood that it's a joke uh man of course i understood that it's a joke do you think what uh, i've started to count money or something exactly after uh, after that uh, super chat or what like uh oh am i a millionaire or a trillionaire or a billionaire or a thousand thousand tier or whatever it's called uh, certainly not man I understand jokes I understand jokes but I try to pretend that it's super serious that's why I was checking for the Zimbabwean uh, dollar or Venezuelan uh, Venezuelan currency what is it there so do you find the conversation of elitism in chess funny since chess itself is an analysis game well I don't understand the problem when the joke is made I mean if it's a good joke for the sake of like fun and comedy and stuff yeah I think uh, elitism talks jokes and stuff is possible but uh generally talking on like i don't consider myself an elitist in chess in any way and uh can make a lot of jokes around it but uh, doesn't mean i consider myself an elitist or someone of course not at all shubham nag is asking raja which indian player as per you can become a world champion mm. nowadays it's hard to say i mean from youngsters if we pick up the youngsters certainly i mean nihal pragananda and uh who else is there who else is there it's hard to say you know i mean uh, there can be a player that is very visible now and we know him as a superstar and something and uh, then he does not become the world champion but there is one just guy like who's like 10 years old now who will be really progressing super fast with all this um you know with all this new engines and stuff we'll learn from i don't know the alpha zero and all style of play and so on and we may be working now like 16 hours a day and he has a good chance let's say but uh certainly if we uh, talk about people that um, are visible um except the people that are there on top already like uh uh Hare krishna we did and all these guys i mean except them they also have a chance for sure and uh also these guys of course mm, i mean uh yeah nihal pragananda i mean it's easy easy to mention these names yeah, yeah i'm not, I'm not really saying something unusual now it's clear that they're like top talents now and so on but uh certainly i mean there should be some other players that are working hard now and they can really um uh they can really overcome them and uh, other top players in india as well um including Vishy soon or, or someone else but i mean it's really uh, really complicated yeah uh it's hard to say hard to say but the youngsters that i've mentioned yeah of course they have uh, chances and of course the elite players 
of India. I don't think that uh, Hare Krishna is out of chance to become the world champion or Vidit is out of chance to become the world champion at all. I mean, it's a possibility. It's possible. If they work right way, disciplined and stuff, yeah, why not? Um, Chetan 1250 says, Raja, are you the most famous person in Azerbaijan? Uh, no, no, no. Board freeze is normal. Just have to be in Safari. Okay, here, Castle Short. Let's see some other games as well, because they're like really moving slow here. So let's see, maybe. Wow. Okay. What is this crazy stuff? E4, e4, e4 c5, knight f3, c6, takes, takes. Knight f6, knight c3. It's um, Vitugov against um, Artemiev. Wow. Look at this stuff. Knight d6 check. King e7, bishop f4. e5, knight f5, king f8, bishop g5. Bishop b4. Wow. D6 is maybe the move, but okay, bishop before. And now probably knight e3 is the move here or something. Um, or bishop f6 maybe, queen f6, I don't know. And then knight e3, trying to take control over d5 square. Slightly, slightly better for white, I guess. Uh, but Vitigov goes for bishop c4 and gets d5. Wow, look at this stuff. Oh, this is really interesting. Guys, look at this game. I mean, it's d5. Cool. I don't say it's it's a hard move, but uh, I mean, it's like the fact just to see this with the king on f8 and pawn on d5, like after like 10 moves or something. It's crazy, no? Um... Supriya Negi says, Indian chess team asked to pay custom duty on gold medal. <laughs> oh man, oh man. Jokes, jokes, jokes. Uh, GB says, objectively, is Hare Krishna better than Vidit? Being um, being a subject, I can only say subjectively, but but I'll think about it. I'll look at their games. We'll check uh, their opinions, the way they approach chess. Even though, of course, as a chess player, Hare Krishna, I know for a much longer time since my childhood. And it's uh, more easy to, f to, to answer about him. Um, but uh, right now, I think they're, they're kind of even. Let's, uh, let's be fair. Let's, uh, let's be, as you say, objective. I think they're even right now. It's hard to say. But uh, up to now, up to nowadays, I mean, probably Hare Krishna was playing more on the top level, but uh, I think uh, Vidit is younger, yeah? I mean, what is the age difference there? Hare Krishna is my age, I think. 34, Hare Krishna, yeah, one year older than me. And uh, Vidit is 94, yeah, as far as I remember, yeah? Vidit is 26. Vidit... Uh, Vidit is a very strong player, but he's like in college now, in college. And uh, Hare Krishna and me were already like, you know, full time Joe <coughs> working alone already, like for many years. Um, the like pension is not that far, like, yeah. Shivam, who is asking, how was it playing against Kramnik in 2003, where the Queen's Indian defense was played and the game lasted 19 moves? Could you share the experience? What was this game, man? 2003, Queen's Indian defense. 
Which one? Which tournament was it, man? 2003. Could be uh, Linares. Mm, could be Dortmund. Not, but Dortmund. Uh, that year in Dortmund. I think I was playing as black. Is it? Shivam, can you just uh, clarify which one? Because I've played a lot, lot of games against Kramnik. Um, Sahib Singh says, um, do chess players in Azerbaijan make a lot of money? Well, I mean, it's fine, I would say, it's fine. A lot of money is very hard to say what is a lot of money, but it's it's okay, it's good. I mean, on, I cannot say it's like in Azerbaijan or something, uh, like uh, differently. I mean, on the top level, on the top level, uh, yeah, chess players can do can can do good yeah okay so d5 yeah he don't, didn't answer yet um let me see what else is there Anush Tivari says why can't they 2003? It was it. Let me see. Close this game. Mm -hmm. Checking, checking, checking. Oh yeah, where I offered the draw like quite fast. I don't know why I actually offered the draw. It was kind of cool position probably, practically especially. And um, I don't know what happened. Why 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 was it happening there? Really do not I, I cannot recall it that much, the the, the salts there. Uh, I was probably afraid of some D4 at some point, but uh, not sure. Move nineteen. Something I didn't like in my calculations and at the time it was possible to offer a draw whenever you want. And uh, yeah, I did it, which is uh, which is a wrong thing. You should play uh, till the end, play on, and it's good that uh, you know later also the rules changed for many tournaments, and you couldn't uh, offer a draw up to thirty moves or something. Uh, especially for commercial tournaments, I think it's a good idea, and so on. So yeah, yeah. Now I remember more or less that game, but I mean, I played so many, it's 2003, it's like 17 years ago, if it's nothing really exciting there, I don't recall it that much, but yeah, now, you, now you've said about it, thank you for um, bringing it up, and now yeah, I do remember, uh, I mean, this game, not specifically the souls here, but uh, yeah, it wasn't that much of a great game, so yeah, and ended quite fast, but uh, Probably I was slightly better at the end. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Today I would play it on. And uh, Kramnik as well, of course. With both colors, I think. Um, let me check what's going on there. Check. Oh, I just want to read some interesting stuff. Harry is 34, Wheat is 25. Trying to find something exciting in chat and interesting. Let me see. Uh, Ramohan Damodar says, Raj, did you buy the new iPhone? Uh, no, I didn't decide which one, which color. Still singing. Have to see them uh, and properly consider which one I want. Hmm. Yeah, open Sicilian with white is cool. I mean, with both colors. 
Uh, Shresh Handelval is asking, Raja, how long do you think a person can play chess at top level? I mean, for a very long time. Um, generally, let's say, um, uh, Smyslov played for a very long time on the highest level. Karchinoi did play for a very long time on the highest level. So it's possible probably, but uh, certainly uh, one should be dedicated to the game completely. Like really working on it like uh, full time. And uh, yeah, so that's that's really important. But otherwise, I mean, it's very hard to maintain the level because when playing on the top level, you need to do a lot of stuff, like really work a lot on your opinions, a lot of your um, nerves, like all the stuff, all the stuff. So it's important uh, to keep like, you know, uh, to keep being dedicated to the game in that case. And I remember Karchinoi, when we were training with him, uh, he was really working very, very hard uh, when, when he was like 60, 70 and everything. He was working really hard, like extremely hard. Even at 75, 80, he was analyzing chess all day long. So don't forget about it. Uh, Mohit Bhatt is saying that it's also an advantage in Harry's favor as he is living in Czechia. I also hope Vidit shifts to Europe as well someday and get some more invitations. Well, I think it's not that much connected. Uh, I mean, Harry is playing uh, for many, many years. Uh, like uh, he was in India, I think, for a very long time. He just recently moved there. Uh, to Prague, but now yeah, now it helps if you are living in Europe. Let's say now it helps you to play in these tournaments uh, in Europe. For example, you can move uh, like on Bundesliga and uh, other tournaments and can play there. Of course, it helps. Yeah, but before, I mean, they were playing on the more or less like same conditions, and uh, I don't know. I mean, you have to see by the achievements. I'm not sure. Have to check, but uh, I don't think it's uh, that important. I mean, now they're probably around even rating or something, and. Uh, Vidit is younger, working a lot, and um, yeah, he has good chances to go up if he keeps up the very good uh, routine. Let me see. Okay, let me see this. So, uh, D5 and still he didn't uh, reply. Okay. Mm, he'll probably have to take on F6. Take on F6. Queen takes to D5 or maybe Bishop D5. He's kind of afraid of this, I guess. Rook D8. And what is this position? Queen B5. Mm -hmm. Interesting stuff, interesting stuff. I don't know. Very unclear, but certainly white is not doing badly here at all. It's just playable. Um, I think he played bishop f6 already. Uh, queen f6 will be played fast, I guess. Because what else? Yeah, queen f6 played. All games are kind of even now, as I can see by the, by the bar there. Um... Okay, Nepo. Wow, Nepo's position is also crazy, guys. Okay. Guys, no, this I will have to take T. And uh, we go further for this game. I mean, this is something crazy. Let me see the chat. I take T and we go further. Looking at Nepo's game, I think it's fun. Uh, Prerna Bagri is asking, Hi Raja, how to improve openings and blitz games? I get through the opening, then I can handle the rest of the game. I can't probably handle the rest of the game. Um, openings and blitz games. Wow. I mean, first of all, there for the blitz games, uh, two things are super important. Is the, your tactical vision, tactical abilities, and, um, uh, and of course the openings you should know very well. Uh, so usually... Yeah, you have to work on your tactical vision. So you have to really, um, how to say, you have to really concentrate like um, on your tactical vision, maybe studies as well, combination studies, solving puzzles and all that stuff on different chess platforms, you have it. And uh, also opinions as well. Maybe you, you, maybe you can find like one or two opinions that you... Uh, use all the time more or less to get more you know used to the piece placement and all that stuff it's very very important very important so this maybe try to do this is th this can be really important 
uh, maybe some of one or two openings where you know exactly where you put pieces in the in the in the blitz games and uh, then you will not have this kind of problem while approaching the game all the time otherwise you will think like uh, you know how to how to place the pieces what is the plan and so on so sometimes if you know like this kind of schemes by which you play the by which you play the blitz games uh, also for the classical games it's important but for blitz it's especially important when you know where to put pieces exactly out of the opening and stuff and uh, tactical vision will help you a lot i think there like uh, it's all about tricks. I mean, the game itself is all about um, uh, most of it. It's about tactical vision and all that stuff. And uh, also in end games, it helps a lot, calculations and all this. So you have to improve on it, I think. This really helps for Blitz, especially for Blitz. Um, GDeep, Super Chat. You have Super Chat enabled. Noise. I think you wanted to say nice, but maybe noise or noise. Noise, nice, and noise. Thank you, Jidip. And uh, yeah, as you can see, it is enabled. So if you want to place bet on Magnus versus Bobby Fischer, who will you pick? So the bet is hard, Max Payne, because if you put these balls players and you put them like on weights, it's very hard to uh, establish who is the better player. Uh, because let's say, I mean, they played completely different times. Engines were used uh, when Magnus was preparing for many of his matches, while Fischer had to figure out most of the stuff alone against the entire Soviet Union, entire Soviet school. So it's very different. Um, Rohit Haridas says, Raja, were the stakes high in your recent match versus Livon in the Skilling Open? Uh, well, we're both professionals. We're approaching the game professionally, just playing our game, trying our best in each of them and uh, trying just to focus on the matches. Nothing else, both, I think, him and me. For many, many years, we're playing in top tournaments against each other and all that. So, yeah, team events, everything. So, uh, professionals, professionals, focused on the board pieces, moves, and uh, if any of us wins the game, of course, we are happy and uh, enjoying it, which is normal. Prime Numbers is asking, uh, who is the best Russian player for you? Ever or uh, just for now? Now certainly uh, Nepal leads uh, the whole pack and uh, yeah, of course Karyakin is my friend and uh, I always root for him. But uh, for now uh, Nepal shows uh, the best results in, in Russian in Russian chess and the second probably comes Grishuk there. Karyakin is like third, I think. Uh, Artemiev is a very exciting player, loves the game a lot, works all day long, obsessed about the game. Like So yeah, it's cool to see such people in chess, of course. Mm, Mohit Bad just isn't queen a4 the only move here let me see okay let me uh, do some tea and we go for this uh, Nepo game which I think is very exciting okay so little break can I put something there let me see if I can um, okay you like this one maybe let me see was it this one yeah happening with the music okay okay <clears throat> oh the nepo game guys it's really exciting somehow i like it a lot yep Ears? Yeah, it can be, it can be, it can be. 
rip ears will happen now, guys. Uh, switch uh, muted, 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 guys. Muted. It's fine now, or still? Okay now, or still, uh, still rip ears. Let me see. Now fine? Tell me, tell me, tell me. I also hope this is not copyright, but it's like called non-copyright music, so it's fine. Too loud? Feel the bit less. No, I think it's fine now. I think it's fine now. Okay, cool guys. I do some tea because it's important for my streams and this game of Nepal looks like really exciting so we'll have a look at it and uh, it's still on so it's okay DJ mod DJ DJ wolf back I'm coming I'm coming I'm coming oh yeah 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 I'll put some I'll put some Azerbaijani songs as well we'll have to uh Ask the singers directly if they're okay with it. But I will. I will. Okay, guys. Good or bad music, it doesn't matter because it's important to make tea. And uh, if it's bad music, you know what to do. You are muting the stream, muting the stream, uh, watching AD, uh, and then coming back, coming back. It's okay. I'm coming.
Huh. Yep. Oh, yep. Okay, let me turn it off. Okay, 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 okay. Down the super mix. I'm also um. Uh, I'm also super professional in mixing like different um, you know drinks. So look at this. There's tea with Coca Cola. Yeah, chess players can be strange sometimes. Okay, Kramnik, uh, uh, Kramnik is writing me something. Let me just read it. Yeah, Kramnik is a 14th world champion, so please, just a moment. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> okay, cool, 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 cool. Mm hmm. Okay, so let's see this game. Okay, d5, she takes d5, he takes d5, bishop g5, bishop b4. Bishop b4, interesting, interesting stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, let's see, let's see. So that's e3, h6, bishop h4, g5, bishop g3, knight e4. So this is very exciting. Let me see what you're writing there in chat. Uh, by the way, yeah, about Kramnik, oh, what kind of echo there is? Let me see. Um, Oh yeah, it's probably because of this. Let me do this, change it, and it's fine. And now no echo, right? Now it's okay. It's correct? Yeah, yeah, okay, guys, okay, clear about echo. Heard you. So now it's fine, right? Guys, right now, it's okay? It's fine. Yeah, I was talking to Kramnik uh, about some some different stuff, and uh, yeah, we'll see if he has time at some point uh, to come and um, comment together on maybe some last rounds or something, maybe for for one hour, thirty minutes, for whatever whatever he can do, find time. He's not that active in chess nowadays. I mean, he does a lot of stuff, a lot of activities. So, uh, yeah, we will see if it works. Board freeze is okay. Let me read about where, where everyone is. Where is everyone? Tell me. So. Okay, guys, back, 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 clock froze, board froze, it's fine, it's fine. 
Um, Sujal Joshi is asking, Raj, are you second or Sergey? No, it's like uh, we just, uh, for now, I mean, for, for candidates, I mean, he was helping me. But for nowadays, I mean, it's like we're just, uh, yeah, working together on mutually beneficial basis, uh, working chess. Darshan Singh says, finally, Super Chats enabled, big fan, Raja. Thank you, man. So, um, Nail Abbasov uh, saying, Kohurla Taymur. Azerbaijan Lular Olaja stream Lerda. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, he's asking if um, uh, my competitors will be on the streams. Uh, I'm sure they will. We will decide for the format and uh, yeah, first uh, clarify if the firma format is um, <laughs> wanted to say format. Format like it's uh, there is a in uh, Azerbaijan's language, so the, if, if the format is okay, <laughs> but yeah. I mean, just um, we'll find some format where the the guys can join and uh, we'll see what we can do. Maybe some kind of uh, stuff we can find out if uh, if it works with them. Yeah, also very hard sometimes to, to you know, to talk to everyone, like uh, find the, the best times. Let's say today I just decided to stream the Russian championship like a few hours before the event, more or less and uh which is which is very different than than what m most of the streamers do they just decide in advance plan it in all advance thumbnails like all the guests and so on with me it's like mostly uh, mm, mostly like spontaneous david anant shagun super chat raja op yeah yeah Thank you guys. So, um, Amevad Nirkar is saying, put on Vix, then show a finger. Put on Vix, then show a finger, show everything and shake it out. Yeah, I think it's sponsored by Anish Giri, right? Amevad Nirkar, I'm sure it's Anish who sent this by the name of uh, Amevad Nirkar. Gaurab Dutta, yeah, I super chat enabled. Guys, I, I haven't seen so many happy people about the super chat. Uh, it's really uh, interesting. This, uh, as Anish calls it, uh, like the social experiment. And uh, now it's interesting that uh, people are more excited uh, than the streamers about the Super Chats. Cool. Okay. Okay, let's see this one. So Bishop G3 94, very unusual stuff. I mean, uh, this is not that... Uh, this is not the line you see most of the time on the on the high level. Uh, so let's see what happened there. Knight e2, h5, h4. Uh, so the problem of black's position is that the king is in the center. And um, white's problems are quite uh, clear. I mean, the bishop on g3, which is kind of attacked by this g5, h5. Um, and the c3 knight that is quite vulnerable unless white is able somehow to play a3 or something, get rid of it, or f3, to get rid of this uh, two attacking pieces, very annoying ones like knight e4 and bishop on b4. So h4 trying to destroy their the structure on the flank, knight g3, knight g3, gdx h4, knight h5, queen g5, and now queen a4. Check knight c6, knight f4. Seems that white is uh, really dominating here. Um, the king still stays in the center for black. Matlakov has here, exactly in this position, 1 hour and 24 minutes. Uh, let's see how, how he manages to do that. Knight f4, rook h6. Queen b5. Even though rook c1 is a possibility, but probably they both know this position. I, I have no idea what's going on here. Queen b5. Bishop f5. Knight d5. a6. Guys, it seems that it's a preparation by Matlakov because 124, they have started with 130. Queen a4, bishop d6. Mm -hmm. Castle long, king f8. Oh, wow. I don't know, what is this? I don't know. According to this engine on chess 24 side, better for black, much. I mean, better for white, like much. I mean, really much better for white. Bishop e2 is the move now. Uh, but when you look at the position, uh, 
what can you say? You can say that black has a good compensation in uh, two bishops, in the bishop pair that they have, but uh, how can they proceed? I mean, b5 at some point maybe, or maybe this knight bishop e2, well, what is the move? Let's put bishop e2 and see what are the ideas here. One of the ideas, yeah, uh, they want to play for b5, so they can go like rook a7 and then play for b5. Or they can go maybe something else, but what? Like rook a7, because if I go b5 immediately, then white will just take on b5 probably, right? Yeah, bishop takes b5, and the rook is hanging there on a8. So rook a7, the move is uh, awkwardly looking, let's be, let's be fair to say that. But b5 is coming. I mean, you have to defend against b5. I mean, it looks like kind of, you know, a4 queen is like kind of standing there safely. But now after rook a7, not anymore. Because uh, you either have to vacate the d1 square. Or probably you have to rook dg1 maybe even. Can you go rook dg1 immediately? Is it rook dg1 immediately b5 and queen d1. Um, and now maybe b4, which is very interesting as well. But let's say, okay, without rook dg1, uh, white can go f4, let's say queen moves somewhere, uh, let's find the square, okay, voting for the square, okay, queen g6, rook dg1, um, now b5 and queen d1, let's say, for example, and what is this position? Nobody knows, because let's say before knight a4, some queen e6, very, very tricky uh, middle game, I mean, with these two bishops all the time, knight takes d4, bishop takes f4, tricks, I don't know, rook to c6 somewhere, all these combinations, at least they're uh kind of uh kind of there all around and the white has to watch out for some queen e4 uh yeah i mean playing with this uh king on c1 you know it's like my game against wesley you are better as white but you have to um keep an eye on this counterplay that uh, may arise at any moment on the c line so especially like being cut by this um f5 bishop that cuts all the b1 h7 diagonal and uh yeah it's tricky it's tricky so I don't know, let's see, I mean, he went king of 8, f4. Queen g6 is now the move, which is uh, not that hard. Let's, 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 be, let's be clear that queen g6 is nothing uh, special. Also very natural for human eyes, queen g3. When Nipomnichi probably wants just to play e4, and he will be very happy to bring the king to b1 and a1 somehow out of danger still the position after i don't know bishop g4 is not looking uh, super safe for both maybe bishop e2 maybe e5 but uh, allowing e4 is maybe not the best way for black they should probably go queen g6 because here bishop e2 okay takes takes queen g2 and okay e4 is hanging h pawn is there but uh, i like the center so maybe knight dc3 then queen c2, you know what, once white stabilizes the position, uh, clearly black is uh, just doomed. Because e5 will come, f5, f6, I don't know, anything. Knight to e4, c7 hanging, everything. So, yeah, so f4, queen g6. Queen g6 is the move, let's see if he finds this. Okay, help me see what's going on there. Um, okay, let me see the questions there. Sumul Kulkarni says, can't believe my message is being read by World Top 10. Come on, man. I, I was reading it without any super chats, many opinions, and still do, of course, and will always do. So please, this is just normal, man. Just normal. So Akshay Natu Rajeslav, Shagun Super Chat. Well, I mean, it's hard to read such things about yourself. So, uh, guys. Mohit Bhatt, Shagun. Uh, if Akshay Natu Bhai is here, I should be too. Just a random guy. Uh, Sagar told me he has uh, very unusual comments from time to time, I think. Mohit Farman Ahmad says, Raja, do you think you can become world champion? Yeah, I can. Yeah, I think I can. I need to be disciplined very, very much. Uh, this was always my problem, but uh, I think I can. Um, yeah, I'll, I will, I'll change the background soon as well, like the, this backdrop, whatever it's called. 
Um, there was supposed to be one by Chess24, but there are some problems there with the with the customs or something. I don't know why, but uh, they're still keeping it. Like there were lights and some some other stuff, backdrops and stuff. Phonix says the youngest picture of you is oldest picture of you. What's your favorite Indian dessert? Tried gulab jamun. Uh, no, Dutch I didn't. I didn't. 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 Doctor Suvis says, "Why are you so savage and sexy?" Indian Tinder. Have you heard that? So please, proposals. Send it to my email. So, um, let me see what's going on there. Uh, did he go queen? No, he's sinking. But uh, <clears throat> okay, I mean it's a good uh, good moment to take some kind of sinking here because after it can be too late. After you move the queen to d8, for example, and get e4, in you know directly uh, you know winning the game, or if you play the queen to some other square, which loses. So certainly Matlakov is thinking now about um, Queen G6 or Queen G3. Matlakov is, is a very strong player, by the way. I don't know if you if you know him well. Um, certainly you know Nepo, but um, Matlakov you may not know that well. Uh, he's a very strong player, also very strong blitz player. Uh, for a long, long time, he's working with Peter Swidler, that you know quite well as well, uh, as well, quite well as well. Okay. And uh, he's a very good theoretician, so that's why we can see maybe it's kind of a fruit of his homework. And the position that he has here is uh, very, very exciting. I, I haven't seen such uh, such kind of line uh, in a long time, especially that he had some 124 like just a few moves ago, and he started to sing just after some queen a4 or I don't know, something like that. And um, here he decides between two important options. I mean, queen g3 which gives white the possibility to play e4 but on the same time at the same time it's um, the most natural move and seemingly very active and queen g6 which um, queen g6 here which uh, plays like against the e4 uh, still still maintains this problem of um, b1 h7 diagonal Rook e8 can come as a support on, on e8 here, like from a8, or maybe rook a7 and b5, as uh, I mentioned earlier. After queen g6, uh, white will have to find some strong, uh, you know, strong moves there. Um, let's see another guy who's playing there, and his name is uh, Daniel Dubov. He's at some point, I think in Petersburg, he became the um, rapid uh, world champion. And let's see his game against Isipenko. He's a very good theoretician. He worked as him, I think, with many players. And uh, as well, I think he worked with Carlsen before his match against Caruana in London. And in this case, let's see, because he has very, very unusual, um, non-typical opinion ideas. And he presses with them a lot of games. He knows Siri very well, also works a lot of ch on chess and really, uh, really a lot. Supports the Russian national team as well with his ideas from time to time. Many players, including Nepo and others. So let's see what he did here. Uh, so he plays his 27-rated 27, uh, 27 player. Uh, as well, you know, he won uh, he won one of the tournaments, I think, in uh, previous Magnus Tour or something. Or the, or the entire thing, was it? I mean, at least one of the tournaments he won for sure there. Like, uh, played uh, brilliant chess and... Uh, very creative and so on. So let's see. He goes d4, knight f6, c4. He's playing against Isipenko, the young talent, young Russian talent, almost 27 already. I think he's what? Let's see the age. Isipenko is like maybe 18 or something. 18 years old, yeah. Yeah, he's 18 years old. Um, yeah, March 22, 2002. Let's see his biography. Born in 2002, Isipenko became European under 10 chess champion 2012. Earned FIDE Master title 2013. 
secured all of his Grandmaster norms by late 2017 and was awarded the title by FIDE in April 2018. Um, from 30 May to June 10, uh, he took part in 20, 2017 European Individual Chess Championship. He scored six and a half and so on and so on. Okay, this and that and this and that. Okay, his rating is uh, his rating is very good. No, um, no, like um, you know, he doesn't have like outstanding results or like specific uh, victories in the, in some tournaments, but he's showing good results and he's increasing his rating. Already 18 years old, he's uh, uh, almost 27, which uh, which is okay, which is not great, which is not uh, something amazing. Uh, yeah, but it's uh, it's still a decent uh, decent uh, result that he's showing, and uh, certainly very talented. So let's see what he did against um, Dubov here. So d4, knight f6, c4, e6, knight f3, d5, g3. So Catalan, bishop e7, bishop g2, castle short, queen c2. Okay, so the idea of this move that Dubov makes here, Queen C2, is to avoid the takes C4 line, which is the usual line top players play, including me, after castle D takes C4. Uh, yeah, and then Queen A4, Queen C2, and we have a lot of these lines we have seen recently in many games with A4, Bishop D7, Queen takes to C4, Bishop C6, all the stuff, or maybe Queen takes Queen C2 A6, Queen C4, and now B5, Queen C2, for example, the main move Bishop B7. Here also a lot of moves. Bishop D2 is the main with uh, different stuff like bishop f4 and uh, a lot of theory here i've played a lot of games including the world cup games as well in my match against sugirov i played this as black and so on so queen c2 c5 d takes c5 and uh Yusipenka goes for d4 b4 played very fast a5 b5 bishop c5 knight bd2 so white wants to go uh, knight b3, attacking d4, knight bd7, knight b3, bishop b4 check, bishop d2. Okay, bishop b4 seems to be not a great move, e5 is the move here. Let's say knight c5, knight c5, maybe castle short, depends. But then rook e8, black is just doing okay, I think. Um, Knight e5, if we take, then there is rook e8, and black is just uh, almost winning. So, e5 is the move here, I guess, but there was something probably prepared by uh, by Dubov here, or maybe some castle short here, or maybe a4 somewhere, maybe castle short. Okay, this is not relevant now, he, he did his homework for sure, had some idea there, just playable maybe. So bishop b4 is already kind of strange move here, uh, white just dwells, bishop d2, bishop takes, Knight fd2. Now the pawns are supported there by the knights because c5 is coming at some point. If even if I play, I mean some a4 and then c5 already seems that white is slightly better. So a4 trying to chase this knight, but knight takes d4. Just picking up the pawn and uh, saying, I mean, what what is your intention? What's your ambition here as black? Uh, I mean, show me the cards here, and where is the compensation? Which uh, I don't see that much as well. I don't see that much as well. So knight f5, knight c5, and just knight e3. I think very, very good play by Dubov. Very good play by Dubov. And now he has a great, great positional and um, a material advantage here. Uh, his bishop is very strong on g2. Of course, first of all comes the material advantage in this case. But <clears throat> positionally, I think uh, once he castles, he also has a uh, pleasant edge. So castle short, then rook to d1, uh, like this, and rook to d1. White is just better. B7 is always there hanging. A4 I also then don't like that much kind of a target. Queen can come from C3 to B4. Why a lot of stuff. Knight to D5. Especially with the pawn up, of course, this position is um, much more easy to play as white. So um, I would say that this is 1-0. I think that uh, Dubov will win this game. Let's not forget it's not rapid, it's not blitz. It's a classical game. Having this type of advantage is uh, really helpful. So let's see what's happening there with us, all the people there in the chat. How is the situation?
let me see hearts 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 i can see a lot questions mm -hmm. so my young satisfied says your percent so nice it's always nice to have you on stream by then I don't know. By Bunt Fat Data Raja just by his words make me mot baku kadaku. Shrikant perhaps saying just wanted to tell you we we'll love you and you Anish more. Just wanted to tell you we we'll love you and Anish more than Vidi. No, no man, no. Please, okay. This is uh, your personal stuff. You can do of course whatever and however you like, but um, no Vidi is. Uh, he is a friend, is a bro, is a by yar, and whatever you say, it's still our video. We love your nature and approach to see the things. Okay, okay, man, thank you. So, um, Devish Mirchandani says Raji calls some mod chats going crazy. Okay, okay, okay. We'll decide with the mod. Maybe not now, but we will see. We'll see. Yeah, we'll decide. Why why is chat getting crazy? It's fine. Puki was there controlling the whole thing. I liked it. It's quite cool. Um So let me see here. Okay, so what about this position? Let's see. Knight is three. I think Dubov is uh, winning the game. Let's see if it's safe here. Oh, what is this? Okay, if it's safe, you know well, and um, many of you were worried about Fida safe's um, uh, mood and so on after the match against Nakamura. Let's see how he deals with it. The classical game against Chigayev. Uh, Grunfeld, Knight of three. H4, very aggressive lion. D takes E4, C5, D5. Castle short, bishop takes C4. Okay, B5. Bishop takes knight E4. Combinations, puzzles, tactical vision, theory, knowledge. Everything is here. Queen A5 check, knight C3, takes, takes, queen B5. This is all theory. H5. Shahriar used to play this line as white. A lot of times he tricked so many people here uh, through this, uh, went through these lines and just dominated many of them, many top players in Rapid and Blitz. Queen C4, even in classical, I think some of them. H takes, F takes, Rook H4, Queen C3, Bishop D2. Yeah, this is all series. Queen D3, Bishop H6. Takes, takes. I know it's unusual, but this is all series somehow. Yeah, Rook F5. Um, Rook, D, Rook E8 is a possibility here as well. Rook f5, this, uh, d6 was a possibility here as far as I remember. Nothing uh, yelled much to white. Um, there was something simple here. Was it e5 or something? It was, well, was something easier there, there, I think, than this. But d6 was the move as far as I remember. Okay, so rook e4, knight d7, rook e7, rook h5, bishop e3, knight f6, and... Um, yeah, it's just draws. Yeah, I think he, they just remember the theory here and uh, it's a draw. Yeah, some kind of draw here. I don't know, some kind of theoretical stuff that they know. Doesn't matter much. Okay, this is not that important. Um, Gaganov against Swidler. Let's see what Swidler is doing here. So Grunfeld again. C takes knight d5, bishop d2 line, knight b6, and knight f3. So bishop g7, bishop f4, castle short, bishop e5. Okay. Interesting. Takes, takes, knight d 7 knight d3. I thought he would go knight f3, but maybe he, he didn't like c5 here somewhere or something like that. So he goes knight d3, e5, interesting move by Swidler, d takes, queen e7, and maybe white could play a 4 to defend the pawn here. 
f6 and try to uh, you know keep like kind of pawn up here like queen b3 king h8 maybe now something like he takes f6 but i understand him i mean uh gaganov in this case i mean he didn't like probably that the compensation is huge there maybe after bishop f5 or something compi claims that g3 is still better for white but uh hard to say i mean maybe comp is right usually comp is right but i don't know about this engine exactly on the side but yeah i don't know seems that maybe white is slightly better still uh, not looking at the entire position here and thinking that okay i'll be smashed somehow by this bishop e6 knight g4 to e3 is not that easy because it seems that it may work at any moment um okay instead he went knight d3 e5 d takes queen e7 and now g3 which is not the best way to fight for the advantage knight f5 knight takes queen e5 bishop g2 he's not having a bad position and uh just unclear middle game uh potentially white can go castle short and uh castle short and then play f4 e4 f5 and all that stuff there are a lot of things possible like this for example um yeah so it's just a playable middle game we'll come back to it so let's see what happens there in Sergei's game. Let me see. Castle short, h3, bishop e6, bishop takes, takes, bishop e6 takes, and knight e2. Okay. Strange a bit decisions he made because usually after bishop e6, you don't take on e6. This is a bit. I mean, exactly in this position, you can wait and black will take on c4. You can take back uh, in case they take on c4, of course. They're not uh, obliged to. But taking on f6 and then taking on e6, this I haven't seen such kind of stuff. I think it's a bit too much. Okay, takes. 92, I also don't like that much. Okay, 92, queen d7, c3. I think black is just completely fine. Just enjoying. I think Sergei is enjoying this position. Very stable. Very stable. Positionally, he can press. He can uh, try to implement some kind of plans, maybe moving the knight somewhere to e7 or to g6 from time to time. Now I think certainly he wants to play maybe for some d5 if white allows this. And uh, also, also in the air, what Sergei will be thinking about, I guess, is moving the bishop somewhere and then sometimes even sacrificing on f3. So white has to watch out for the tricks like this. And uh, yeah, let's go to Vitugov against... Um, uh, we left them here, which you go for against Artemis. We left them on d5, so he took on f6. Queen takes f6, queen d5, bishop f5, ef. Yeah, so uh, bishop f6, queen f6, uh, queen d5, bishop f5, as we said, yeah, bishop f5, ef, g6, okay, rook d8 we thought is the best, so g6 he went, castle short, maybe f takes g6 was still better, but he was afraid maybe on some play on h line after this. Yeah, so he went castle short, king g7. Okay, so yeah, I mean, he went this, uh, sorry, I was just writing, I mean, uh, um, writing back to Sagar, because I don't like uh, to leave message uh, messages, uh, you know, without reply. So this g6, uh, he went castle short. Now black could just take on c3 and then take on f5, maybe take with the queen on f5, I don't know, a lot of moves. He went king g7, I don't know why he wants this h-line that much, but he probably wants to play for this h-line, I don't know, I mean, he wants to mate him, I don't know, let's see, let's see. 
also exciting. Okay, let me be back to the chat and see what's going on there. Um, yeah. So, uh, Aravind Ramesh, uh, for candidates, will you be helping someone prepare like AG? No, I think not. I think it will be kind of strange. Mm, I mean, if he asks, I will consider, but uh, I, I don't think so. He has his team, he's working hard a lot on the openings part, and they've played like uh, seven rounds out of it. So uh, it will be strange if I come there to help for seven rounds to do something. It's a, a bit kind of strange, but uh, certainly, I mean, if Anish asks me, uh, I will consider this. We will see uh, the way it goes. But uh, for the time being, uh, I do not see uh, such a possibility for... I'm not sure it will happen. I mean, it's not like uh, I don't want to any or anything, but it's, it's a bit unimaginable for now. <laughs> like, yeah, hard to imagine this. Anish is very well with his team, doing his uh, preparations and all that stuff. I think he uh, just needs maybe some rest and some fresh uh, fresh energy as well there. Certainly, uh, openings-wise, he's uh, probably the most prepared player there. And... Uh, Oh, he just needs the you know this fresh feeling of the game, uh, willingness to fight, and uh, yeah, then he can succeed there. Okay, so on this we are clear. Um. Alicia Gupta says deep feeling inside. Yeah. Warm, warm feeling deep inside. As Samai explained to us. Okay, okay. The timeout I will um, change for the chat. We'll make it 15, yeah? Let's make it 15. Uh, yeah? Yeah, it's cool, I think. So. Um, let me see the uh, questions as well. Raji, do you know about Bevafa Samai song? No, I haven't seen it. Please play it in the break. The creator is also in your chat. Let's make him mod. Uh, who is the creator of that song and where is he in the chat? Can you can you please uh, tell me? Yeah, guys, uh, Darmenders 3608 is the first round of Russian Championship. I think it will be a very, very exciting event. It's always exciting, very strong field and a lot of very aggressive players, very aggressive players. So it's very, very cool to watch. I think it's one of my favorite events, this Russian Super Finals. Um, yeah, but where is Devin? I cannot see him. Show me. Where is he in the chat, Devin? Yeah, I know Devin, but where is Devin? Um, where is Devin? Devin, can you write something? Um, so I can find you and make you a mod, please. Yes. Yep. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Devin, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know you, come on. <laughs> I know, I know. Good, good. He's the moderator now, guys, so he can uh, destroy anyone, more or less, as Puke 11 as well. Okay. 
Uh, okay, the guy went knight e4, queen f5, and now c3. He wants to stabilize his position, uh, avoid any kind of knight d4s, and now... What about rook d8? Maybe take f7, takes f7, bishop f7. Yeah, and then white is probably slightly better. Slightly, slightly better, even though, yeah, compi claims this is good for black. But uh, I don't know, I don't know. This can be slightly worse. But, um, okay, c3. Rook d8 is not necessary at all. He can just go bishop e7, which is very natural. And it will, it's what probably he will do here. He has a good sense of, you know, positional understanding and good sense of, you know, peace placement as well. Um, Artemiev is a very fighting player, but uh, he knows his stuff. He's good at end games, good at some, you know, slow positional play. So probably he'll just go bishop e7 here without any, um, any adventures unnecessary completely. Um, yeah, let me see who's there as well. I have been here anyway, mod or not mod, Devin Anand says, yeah. My turn, I want a wrench. That's not fair, says my turn. That's his nickname. Um, Puky11 says, okay, so I can leave now for one hour, right? See you later. Oh, Puky11, why did I make uh, Devin mod so that you leave immediately? You want uh, to get off all of the responsibilities. Thank you, man. Very nice of you. Uh, Chai Tanya. So it's a tea with Stanya, as far as I understood. Do you like green tea? Oh, uh, man. Uh, yeah, from time to time. But uh, mostly I'm a fan of a, of a black tea. I like the black tea more. Also, usually people drink uh, more black tea in Azerbaijan than, uh, than the green tea. Okay, a lot of messages was messaging me all the time. Duck. So Okay. Yep. Okay, let's see some stuff here. So who's writing what? Tell me. So Devin and Anha, there is nothing to moderate here. Raji is chill. Yeah, I mean, not too many people for now, Devin. So uh, there is no point usually to... Also, I mean, in, in, in our chats for now, up to now, for, for so many months, I mean, now already I can say that. I mean, what we started in July or something, and then... Uh, all these huge shouts, they came a bit later, of course, but still, they were always super friendly. And uh, just few people saying some stuff, like random stuff, also like uh, necessary for, for, for the ambience, you know, to have some guys say, saying super bad things. Normal, normal, normal. Why not? And um, yeah. Oh, screen froze uh, doesn't matter because I'll be back there watching games, so it's fine. Uh, Ritvik Davan says now that Super Chats has started, you should invite VD to your channel. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know what VD is doing. Is he uh, is he streaming today? Can somebody tell me? Can somebody point if he's streaming today or how is it? Uh, one from the many super chats to come. Glad to have you back. Shagun for you. Just a moment. Yeah, let me see. Uh, 
Ok. Yep. So, uh, let me read the rest. What's going on there? Raja's chat. Of all was always nice. Raga Voodoo says Congo two and a half million views. What was this Congo joke? What was this Congo joke? No stream for on video side. Preparing for stand up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> he was always uh, good at jokes. Vidit. So buy the tickets for that stand up and uh, I wish you a good time. Okay. Um, Saptarshi Banerjee says I can finally do super chat to my favorite YouTuber. Oh wow. I saw there are some nice people there. Nice people there that are more kind of favorites of Saptarshi, but thank you, man. So, uh, yeah, what can what can Vidis uh, what can Vidis uh, stand up be about? I mean, okay, I mean, yeah, yeah, that's cool, that's cool. I would watch it. Is it? Will they show it somewhere? Vidis uh, stand up? Is it sh like? Will they show it seriously somewhere? Uh, can we hope on this? Will it be uh, recorded? Recorded or something? Any chance for that? Um, let me see if I can find or you will tell me, please. Guys, can you tell me if it will be recorded? Pushkar Gupta says, use stockfish cheater. Yes, man, yeah. I'm cheating so much on the stockfish stuff. Man, I didn't tell you yeah, that the engine shows it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, of course. Raja David Anand is asking, Raja, have you heard about the Vidit's towel story? No. Um, how many people there on his stand-up? Uh, Sagar as well, yeah? Is there... Um, Harch Kumar says, I hope your viewership doesn't go beyond 1000 because that allows you to read my messages. May you get million subscribers, but not more than 1000 live viewers. Come on, man. Come on, man. I'm trying to find any uh, good messages there. Um, Devin Anand says, no, probably not recorded. It's for a live event. I think it's just too good yeah, to be recorded because then it can be like uh, copyright issues and stuff. The jokes of it. Just punches, 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 not the jokes, punches. He delivers the punch right away when you least expect it. Very um, sarcastic guy, very funny. Dear Vidit. Dear Vidit, the superstar, the captain. I've seen some, some video that he made there for the, like, uh, with this uh, amazing music, like, uh, f preparation for something really crazy something really cool and uh, in that music he made like um like something like indian team and stuff like you know that they will become uh, the olympic champions or something and then they couldn't for many many years and now it came and like huge like uh, like uh you know like a hollywood movie and stuff and uh, i think on graphic he will explain how he led the indian national team to the victory in this um, online olympiad uh, will be <clears throat> interesting to watch I will enjoy that especially if he gives some secrets there like 
what did he do uh what did he say on the especially i i want to see uh most of uh, most of anything there like uh, most out of anything there like i like to see the most is uh you know his um like the team meetings with the national team of india this online zoom meetings where like uh 10 people connect uh two without the video two without the sound one uh anant that puts it on mute and uh, some other cool guys uh there and um we did say his guys today have destroyed them and all this especially with this angry face i want to see him he's a cool guy he's a cool guy all this i'm saying of course is jokes and uh Vidit knows it very well he's a cool guy great captain i said it many times seriously without any jokes and uh he had a great team to take care of uh, great players and i think he did very very well i think i'm very proud of him and uh yeah yeah Uh, Aravind Ramesh is asking, hey Demo, what do you, who do you think is an underrated player in chess, past or present included? I'm, I'm here. I'm here, man. Uh, Mansi Avasti says, VT Towel story is hilarious. Okay. Uh, where to check it out? Check out videos, Vidit's Towel story on his YouTube channel. It's hilarious. Yeah, I will. I will. I will. I will. I will. Um, Harsh Kumar says stop saying I'm just joking we know you are well not not all of you not all of you man Tushar Apatzde says Sagar's whole life is a stand up yeah I mean he's so hard working I mean he's always online that's amazing oh I will react to videos of Virit Stowell story okay maybe 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 uh, Taukir Romanes says, why is Grishuk not playing? Not sure, not sure. Just reading, reading, reading. Um, hmm. So Radip Mondal is saying that, uh, can you take my uh, case as a lawyer? Imagine with the uh, online uh, court yeah the famous online court everyone is present uh Mikhail Ryanov is asking Roger have you watched the Silicon Valley yeah I did I did it's a cool uh, it's a cool series actually yeah yeah liked it liked it liked it liked it very very cool uh, Bupesh Kumar is asking why ha what, what what happened why Raj is so serious today no 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 I'm not I'm not I'm just thinking about chess yeah Divya in chat you sure Divya in chat um Oh, Divya, if you are in chat, can you s send me the? Can you can you can you write me on WhatsApp if you are in chat? I'm not sure she is, but she knows my number, so yeah, she can she can message me if she's in chat. Please, Divya, if you are in chat, just tell me. But uh, yeah. So if DVA is there, please write to WhatsApp. And David Anant is asking, Raja, are you the one or someone who gets anxious while playing? Everybody's stressed. I mean, when, when they go to the games or something, the preparation, like uh, handling the entire thing is hard. Um, also, uh, you know, once, I mean, also it's very hard in general. I mean, the, the chess thing is like, uh, it's quite stressful, but... Um, I think there are harder professions, certainly, uh, many, many, but uh, I like chess, of course, love it, and going there and playing is nice, but of course it has a lot of stress in it, but uh, at the same time, at the same time, when uh, you start the game, you have some kind of stress relief, when it starts, it's already, you are there, and uh, 
more or less all good still stressful but better than before the games when you prepare or um, expecting to, the tournament to start and everything like that but uh, all the professional players i think they're fine with uh, handling this kind of emotions stresses and so on um longer it goes or any problems arise on your way you start to sometimes you know question things you do question your preparation from time to time when the things are not going your way and then it becomes harder but if you are like kind of uh, playing well stable and so on then it's okay then it's okay but it's a stressful sport yeah i mean both the, the preparation and the, the game itself it's it's full of stress of course but uh I mean, it's part of professional life to try to control your emotions, your nerves, uh, be prepared in a good shape and so on uh, to be able to deliver, uh, to deliver, um, you know, final blows in the important uh, situations where you have to uh, win the game and so on, which is also hard on the highest level until the very, very end. There is a, you know, uh, great defense by, by your opponents and you have to break it and it's not that easy all the time. And so on so a lot of a lot of things needed there certainly it's like i would consider it's like kind of close to some of the physical sports from time to time also your physical shape uh, you know really um uh, is important there like um how you feel the freshness you know like you know the feel you, you feel like this kind of motivation to play and uh can control your emotions and so on and you, you are focused and uh yeah, these abilities are very important, especially like focusing on the game and being concentrated throughout the game and so on. It's, n it's not that easy and you, you should be in a good shape and uh, in a kind of good mood, like a specific mood to, 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 to play good games. Yeah, yeah. And Devin says, makes sense, just wondering, what do you guys feel? Because it seems a lot of times that players low in confidence may not convert winning positions and how that is linked to one's mentality. Yeah, certainly like overestimating your chances and overestimating your um, abilities is better than uh, uh, than not. And uh, certainly this is important. This is really important. Uh, I mean, um, when, when somebody is overestimating his chances and his abilities, uh, it's better. It's better than, uh, you know, always questioning yourself, questioning your decisions, being hesitant. And uh, yeah, you are right, Devin. Yeah, that's true. I mean, uh, more the player overestimates his chances, uh, more easily he wins uh, like winning positions, let's say. So uh, I think I think it's like that. If we take in the, in the percentages, I don't know, there is probably no specific like scientific approach to this, but uh, yeah, I think it is. This is the thing. Um. Okay, okay, let's see, let's try, let's see. And she's real, she's real. Uh, Divi, can you please say something in, in chat so that I make you mod? Because I want to find your name and, oh yeah, I found it. I think I found it. Moment, 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 I found it. Okay, so Divi is now moderator. Divi, did it work? Divya, you started to uh, post uh, much less after I made the mode. Is everything fine? Guys, you know, I've made her mode and now she doesn't uh, say anything at all. But before she was like super active, saying things like commenting and stuff. I know just nothing, just nothing. Mode test, oh, finally, finally, she delivered this uh, 
the speech. Um, okay, who chance to kill baby Hitler? Would you? <laughs> the room now. What is this question, man? What is this question? I am against killing anyone, but uh, probably would try to create some kind of uh, political party to uh, avoid him coming to power. Um, Sandoz Kumar says, Raja, please stream reaching 3200 in bullet and then challenge Anish, Vidit and Nihal. It will be insanely fun. Oh, yeah, I'll try to do that. I mean, maybe I'll try to do that. Maybe. Um... Yeah, I mean, you mean on the chess.com site or something, is it? Um, yeah, guys, the board froze. It's fine. It's fine. I'll be back. Anyway, now talking to you. Okay, nothing changed much there, but, uh, oh, let's see this Nipomnishi against Matlakov. I think it was fun. Oh, guys, he went Queen G6 finally. He went Queen G6. Okay, guys. You know, like, even, uh, you know, all these Indian kids, the chess players, and all of them, like, everybody's having uh, fun of uh, the old uh, Boomer Raja. What is it going on there, you know? Come on. Come on, guys. Unfair. Unfair. The Grandpa Raja thing. Grandpa Raja OP. Okay, okay, I'll take some course, like super course. I'll come like fully prepared, amazingly working on like on OBS stuff. Like we'll press two buttons, we'll make five streams in a row, like Counter-Strike here, chess here. They're playing the tournament of Magnus Champion Store. Uh, I mean, one analysis with uh, with someone in another window. I'll, I'll do the stuff. I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it. They were teasing me with uh, this internet stuff. And with the speed and this, on, on the speed you should, on this you should. Why do you have such a bad internet? Already this solved. Solved, solved. Super chat solved. Anything now is uh, going to be solved. I'll take some super, I'll take some super amazing, like the best. I'm uh, not, okay, the best is hard probably. I agree, I agree. But some like IT engineer, maybe uh, like, uh, like some Indian IT engineer that lives in Palo Alto. And we'll tell him, man, I just want like, with just one button, I want to do everything. Like talk to people, uh, start streams, call people to chats. So I don't know, everything. Like camera works, this and that, and so on. And he will do that, I'm sure, I'm sure. And then I'll come and uh, no more jokes. Cropping and enlargement techniques will be on the highest level. Um, yeah, I'll do the thing. Um, okay, let me check the the link if I can create it first of all um where is it where is it oh, it's there meanwhile being a boomer is fine I think I've uh, installed um, steam but deleted zoom is it possible I'm not sure but probably with me, everything is possible, guys. Okay, let me do this. This and that invite. Copy invite link. And now.
Yeah. Uh, they always want me to install the, you know, to install the, um, uh, what what is it called, the WhatsApp, on the WhatsApp web web or whatever like on the compi. Um, but I don't want, I don't want. Privacy, aha. Uh -huh. I just don't like such things to be honest. Let's say if the compi is hacked, the, the entire WhatsApp is hacked. What is it? I don't like it. No, not for me. No, 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 no. My all, all of my, all of my, uh, you know, this bad talks and stuff with Anish, they will be there. No, no, no. Thank you, man. Thank you. Not for me. Um. Okay, who is there in the chat? Let me see, let me see. Um. <laughs> what, what, <laughs> what did you say there, Cosmos Rai? So David and Andarshan, I was working alongside in Melbourne. Oh guys, there is like good old friends are meeting here in the chat. Okay, zoom stuff, zoom stuff. I will try to. Um, how can I hide myself, guys? That's the problem. Guys, how can I hide myself? Help me fast. Stop video. Yes, cool. Like it. I like it. Um, <laughs> bad talk reveal. I have a twin. I have a twin. He appears from time to time on the Zoom uh, Zoom calls. Hide self you when I'm only 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 person there. It's hard. It's hard. And uh, what else? What else? What else? Tell me. Tell me, people. Tell me. What should I do now? Wow, this game is getting serious. This getting, game is getting serious. Queen G6, Bishop E2 played. Okay, guys, he found Queen G6, which is a very, very hard move here. He went Queen G6, and it was the best move as far as you remember. Uh, Queen G3 was possible possibility here. It was possible, but uh, Queen G6 is much better. Queen G6 is much better. Still keeps this pressure. Uh, and you know this um, b1 h7 diagonal under control So bishop e2 Queen c4 was the best according to engine bishop e2. Okay, very natural Rook e8 is what we said actually. Uh, I was telling that uh, this is the way rook e8 Maybe somewhere even rook takes e3 and bishop e4 is coming and so on Yeah, and um Okay, so this rook e8, yeah, and rook e3 is a threat from time to time. Um, now the best move is bishop f3, f3, f3. What is bishop f3? Okay, yeah, that's the best move. Bishop f3. Okay, bishop f3, and then um, yeah, bishop f3. He will go for sure. Why not? What can be the problem? No, bishop f3, he will go. He will go bishop f3. He went bishop e2, now he will go bishop f3. Uh, I can't imagine anything else happening here. Guys, I can't imagine. There is no other move. Bishop f3. You went bishop e2, then bishop f3, and the idea is to play e4. No, this is clearly he should go, and he will. He will do this. He will probably do this. Uh, yeah, let me uh, just. Yeah, 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 I just added my name so that you know who I am um, through Zoom. 
very nice way to do that. So who is there in the chat saying what? Nepo under attack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like this position, you know, guys. It's really cool. Chetan1250 says, uh, Tamor, interview Tamor. Yeah, it would be nice. Um, guys, uh, make your predictions who will win the championship. What do you think? Who will win the championship? Um, Devin and Ant, like people expect stand-up comedians to be able to joke at any point, people expect Rajit not to be serious. Yes. Yes. <clears throat> okay, who will win? Dubov, Artemiev, Nepo, Karakin. Grishuk is not playing. So Grishuk is not playing, guys. Yeah, he went Bishop F3, of course. Bishop F3, and now. Uh, now it's complicated what um, Matlakov has to find. Okay, uh, there is a guest, there is a guest, there is a guest, there is a guest, guys, there is a guest, there is a guest. Who do you think is a guest? Who do you think is the guest? Guys, important, before I admit, please tell me who is the guest? Samai, okay. Um... Somia, okay. Trump, not. Anish, not. Somia, no, guys, AG, I would not present this way. AG is AG, uh, clearly. He will come and everybody would know. He would write it in the chat before. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's do it. Anyway, let's see if we can uh, affect someone's schedule. We, we go uh, by the H from the, from the uh, oldest to the uh, youngest. So let's see, let's see. Let's see if internet works, first of all, there. I'm not sure. Probably it's BSNL or something. Um, hello? Hey, can you hear me? Yes, I do. And everyone can. How are you doing, Divya? Hello. Uh, so, hi, I'm doing pretty fine. You sure? Yes, why? Okay, okay. I don't know. I don't know. I thought you are studying, but in fact, uh, in fact, you are in the chat. So no, me... I was studying, but uh, then I decided I have a tournament tomorrow. So I just decided to take a break from the preparation. Okay. So let me just do the Zoom because it's very stressful for me. Anyway. Okay. Oh. Uh, can you tell me when to turn on my video? Yeah. Uh, hopefully today. Let me let me try and see what's going on there. Why cannot uh, I do the Zoom stuff? What's going on? What's the problem? Guys, it's uh, unbelievably strange, but okay. <laughs> Capturing the videos. Okay, at least you have the voice, uh, just in case, in any case. It's anyway chess, so uh, it's fine to discuss this. Yes. And she doesn't have the video turned on anyway, so let me see what's the Oh, problem. should I? I was waiting for you so that your OBS doesn't get messed up. Okay, okay, I'll, I'll try to do that. Let me see. Okay. Why is it not copy? It's not showing me the, you know, the stuff, um, the zoom stuff. Just a moment. Oh, uh, where is the zoom? Come on, I mean, I know why is it not okay. Zoom capture. No, not this, not zoom capture. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, Divya, tell us what do you think I'm about the game first stream. of all. Sorry. What do you think about the games? Uh, I've not watched them at all. I need to open them. Ah, you haven't watched it? 
Nice, no. nice, nice. It means that you, you have studied quite well, yeah? Yes. Okay, yes. cool, cool, cool. You are the real uh, student. I just pretend to study, but I do study, end up studying a little. Okay, just a moment. Let me try to... What's going on there? Uh, should I turn on the video uh, in order to, it to be visible? Okay, can you turn on the video? Let me check if it works, the zoom there. Okay, one second. Are you able to see me now? Yeah, but I don't know why it's not uh, copying it. I mean, I cannot capture it to the... Um, oh my God, what's going on? <laughs> no, not this. But we know that uh, this, uh, when I'm like establishing all the stuff with the zoom and so on, uh, every time everybody likes it somehow. I don't know why. No. I hate it. I'm like uh, <laughs> getting like 10 years uh, older than I should be. But still, it's like super stressful. But uh, yeah. what's going on with my zoom, guys? I need some eye for that. And he's super busy. <laughs> you can even call Samia, Didi. She knows a lot. Somia? Yeah. She knows a lot? How do you know that she knows yeah, a lot? I think so. I think she knows a lot about um, OBS. Oh my god. Oh my god. What's going on? It was all good. Uh, <laughs> Divya, I don't know why it didn't work. Now, uh, I mean, it was all fine, but uh, what can be the problem? Just can't imagine, guys. What can be the problem, guys? Why I don't see it in the... Um, um, you know in what? Okay, in, have you uh, done window capture? Yeah, I did, I did, I did. Okay, so... Um, and in window capture, it doesn't see the zoom. So it's cool. Oh, uh, okay. You Maybe you should turn it off and then turn it again on. You mean what, the entire stream? Yeah, no, no, not the stream, uh, the window capture. Yeah, I did it. That's the problem. That's oh. why I don't understand what's going on. Are you studying okay, for I, the IT engineer or what? what is... no, 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 that's all I know. So you don't want to be an IT engineer after this talk? I might be, but I have no clue. Okay, okay, cool. Uh, guys, it's still it's anyway better than Tanya Sajdev's black screen yesterday. So please be grateful, <laughs> be grateful. It's fine. Um, yeah, can we try that I turn off the zoom and come back again to it and send you the okay. link again? Is it possible? Okay. Yeah. Okay. But it's going to take you a bit of effort for sending usual, the zoom yeah. again. Everybody yeah. knows already. Everything takes Raja, like all this technical stuff takes an effort. But uh, guys in the chat, if you are engineers, IT engineers, I don't think it's uh, necessary to be an IT engineer for this, but still. And uh, can you just say what should be, what could be a problem here? Because just my OBS doesn't see the zoom. Um, hmm. What do you mean all good, Roger? I want to see uh, DJ on the stream. <laughs> what is all good, Roger, in this case? Yeah, this this people, you know. Um. <laughs> Unbelievable. Display capture, no window capture, right? Yeah, window capture. Okay, and then, and it doesn't see the zoom. Okay, can we just turn yeah, it off and try it again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, I'll do it now. Okay, so uh, you're sending me a new link? Yeah, I'll send you a new link. Okay. Hopefully it works. Sorry, 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 Divya. Sorry so much. It's okay, it's okay. Yeah, but it happened so many times, uh, <laughs> even to, to the great streamers like Anish. Thank you. So we'll do, we'll do something now about it and uh, try yeah, to pull you back. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Um. Wow, guys, it's so annoying. Uh, what's the problem with this? Guys, can someone help? Um, so guys, tell me, tell me, tell me, I will cry now as well.
let me see let me see uh don't minimize the zoom maximize the zoom let me see maximize minimize i was i was supposed to be a professional with this honey stuff but let me try again okay let's say i maximize the zoom then um let me see Yeah, now now this is really stressful, more stressful than the tournaments, I must tell you. No, uh, maximizing it doesn't help. Just sees the desktop profile, full screen backdrop, OBS profile, Windows capture, and the desktop, and doesn't see the zoom. My God, what's going on there? Guys, help. Necessary. Guys, very stressful. I'll die now. I'll die and Anish will become the, the top 10 player. If you don't help. Guys, fast. If you don't help, I will die. And. And. And Anish will become the top 10 player. It's very dangerous. Guys, what is the problem? Please help. This is impossible to bear and uh, Divi I'm sure she will go to sleep soon like uh, Vidi does and everyone who studies Vidi studies chess she studies uh, what she studies actually but this we will ask on, st on the stream in school probably yeah oh my god it worked it worked and I even did the you know the, the stuff there I mean it was okay the zoom was working Um, new meeting, Zoom connecting, join this. Ah, it's 7.45 there, but okay, I don't know. Asking questions, asking the chat. Guys, you, you have all like, uh, the entire country was studying for the IT engineers. Can someone help? Let me see, let me see. And no, it's not still still not there. Um, yeah, that's that's bad. Okay, let me try the display capture, if it works. No, but this is something else here, yeah. just hard to do for me. Mm, yeah. Very annoying. Super boomer. Yeah, guys, thank you so much. Thank you for reminding me. So upset. You can't imagine. You can't even imagine how upset I am. Um,
Mm-hmm. And so what? Valid. Let me check. No, just nothing works. So upset. And before that, everything worked perfectly, and now not. Nice. Oh, so nice. Yeah, I need a vacation now. I need a vacation. So upset. I resign guys, I resign, I resign, I resign, I quit, I quit chess, streaming, um, yeah, yeah, QB ETF says stop the stream. Yeah, yeah, I will, I will, I will. I just resign, guys. Okay, let's do it with the voice. But I so much wanted to bring the video on there. Um, DBM, let's go with the voice. Is it okay with you? Divya is not answering. She's upset with the Grandpa Raja. Okay, 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 okay. Oh guys, oh guys. <sighs> I wasn't this upset after my first game against Ding Li Zhen. I wasn't as much upset as now. So embarrassed, like... Um, I'm, I'm going to take that uh, super... Um, lesson on OBS promise one day I will when everybody is already streaming without zoom and without anything and OBS will be like version 1 and the available version will be like OBS 55 I will still be learning OBS 1 I'm sure <sighs> subset okay fine fine Fine. Still better. Still better. I'm telling to myself. Still better than Tiny's black screen. Still better than Tiny's black screen for 15 minutes. But okay. But okay. Okay. Sending the, the link. Do it with the voice now. Not to miss all the action. Um... Samai I can't ask because he's uh, parting there. 
Thank you for hearts, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. I'll just say to DV that the link is sent anyway. DV, by the way, if you're watching, it's sent. Oh, okay, she's there. Cool. Admit. But it's good, guys, because uh, I will not admit anyone else. As the video doesn't work, uh, asking people to come will be quite strange. You there? <laughs> Yes, I'm there. Thank you, thank you. I can imagine that the entire family is laughing there. Like, look at this guy. <laughs> yeah. No, it's just yeah. me laughing. No one yeah, else yeah. is laughing. Thank you, Diva, anyway, for coming, even though without video uh, and it's not your fault. Let's imagine that you have a BSNL there and still video doesn't work anyway. So it's cool. So okay. tell me. So tell me, tell me. Uh, yeah, I will hide my video. Should I hide my video or... Uh, what is the best? I don't know. It will not be lagging there. Um, are you yeah. talking to me? Yeah, now it's fine. Okay, so um, uh, there is a voice. There is a voice, guys, at least. At least. <laughs> it's uh, from above. Uh, the wisdom The wisdom is talking to you now. So, Divya, uh, you are studying in school, right? Uh, yes. And how is it going? To be honest, it's very like bad, yeah. Tough. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's very. I cannot say that since my teachers, if they're watching, they'll kill me. But okay, uh, that's a uh, nice, uh, nice explanation. Chess yeah. is so much more easier. Like so much more easier. Chess is more easier. Yes. Um. Yeah. I mean, it depends on the opponents, maybe or not. Or you mean studying chess is easier? Uh, anything with chess is easier. Like, um, okay, so why don't you skip school? I can't. I'm in 10th standard. Why you can't? You skip school and you are beating everyone in chess and you don't need any more to study. That was but... my goal actually in life <laughs> and uh, somehow managed to do so. I Oh, did you do so? Uh, no, no, no. I mean, I was in school and wasn't even in the university, but still. I mean, I became professional at some point and already didn't care much. Um, I wish I could do so, but it's necessary to have an education too. To do what? <laughs> no, just to... for my understanding. I mean, uh, to do what? <laughs> to, like, suppose in case the chess thing doesn't work out, you need to have a second option. Well, why would you suppose that in your case uh, chess wouldn't work if you are so not talented? in my case it's like a general mm -hmm. advice ah it's a general advice uh, it's a general advice but don't you feel like um let's say uh if you are studying a lot you put like um too many efforts uh that could be used for chess no <laughs> actually in uh, india we just need to put in efforts for our boards that is the 10th standard and 12th standard so that is two years the rest of the years i honestly myself didn't care about studies not even one bit okay okay but uh, i don't know i would say that uh, i mean in case i would have a like a great chest talent i would just keep yeah. uh, studying work all day long yeah. what is your favorite opening as black let's say um classical classical what, what do you mean by classical? Uh, like against D4? Of, what is it against like, D4? Okay, against D4, um, it would have to be Nemzo. Okay. Uh, against E4, it has to be classical, like Sicilian. Cla classical Sicilian? <laughs> that's, yes. That's a nice way of calling things like classical. I'm just playing like some Nidorf, yeah? Or some, what is it like actually? Nidorf, is it? No, no, it's Knight C6 instead of A6. Uh, Knight C6? And after d4? C takes d4, knight uh, d4? Yeah, I'm talking about after that. So, Divya, first e4, yes. <laughs> c5, knight f3, you do what? Knight c6? No, d6, d4, c d4, knight d4, knight f6, knight c3, and now knight c6. You are playing this? Uh, yes. Seriously? Maybe... Uh... Maybe it's time to change the opening repertoire for, for, for some time, I think. At yeah. least. Yeah, because it's very, very tricky for black. 
So yeah, uh, actually, it's very tricky if you do not know the openings. So no DVA. It's just generally very tricky. If you know the openings, <laughs> okay. especially, it's tricky. If you get uh, if you get on some I don't know Anish there like uh, in this one, um, yeah, it's not that pleasant. I must tell you. I okay, mean, it's really tricky when they know things. Like you should tell him that change to ch change my openings. Uh, so so that he helps you to change the openings, yeah, Anish. Uh, Anish? Uh, who, who should I tell to change the openings? Srinath. Ah, Srinath. Ah, okay, I don't know. But uh, did he uh, make you play this uh, 966 d6 stuff? Yes, you can blame him. Okay, now it's awkward. And even now if he awkward. didn't, you are free to, uh, free to blame him. Now it's awkward. Now it's awkward. Uh, guys, what should I do in this situation? Uh, Srinath. Uh, Love, peace, uh, hearts to Srinath, please. Uh, I don't know what to do. Uh, it's good uh, that there is no video, but there, there is my video, guys. So I don't know what to do. Okay, but this line is, uh, is, yeah, I mean, it's like, it's really tricky. I don't know. I saw Karakin playing this in some rapids recently. But, um, mm -hmm. yeah, but somehow it's like, I don't know. It's so hard to play this. Uh, Kramnik played it for a long time. No, uh, actually, it's not at all hard to play this. If you've, like, played it for one, two years and you have enough experience about it, I think it's enough. Okay, okay. I don't know what in this situation, guys. I'm I I'm not sure what should I do because let's say if Anish, uh, he would say like, oh okay, let's say I mean I don't know Chuchilov. Let's say he would say like, oh you are playing this. No 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 no. It's just uh, you just resign and everything. You can't. You have to change the repertoire. But um, <clears throat> okay, Srinath. Uh, I think to Srinath we should talk in uh, in the, the DMs in this case because it's like really uh, dangerous subject now. Uh, everyone will be offended, either me or. No, yeah, yeah. I should just clear that that Shrinathana is like a very good coach, and he's just very good. That's it. No, Shrinath, I'm sure. I'm sure he's a great coach. Uh, certainly, the line is playable, uh, but it's like so hard sometimes to control it. I mean, especially on the high level, I can imagine. And uh, but do you like um, use the correspondence games when you prepare? Uh, I use it uh, not much, but I do use it. But not much, what do you mean? As a, a little bit of a rackets. Okay. But uh, Srinath is using it, I hope. <laughs> you should ask him. I will, I will, I will for sure. So, um, Divya, tell me, so you don't want to give up the, the, the studying for chess? No, actually, I do want to give up, but I can't give up. Like, that's the sad reality of life. Okay, so is it the, the, the parents that uh, say that you should... No, no. no, no. My parents are, like, really supportive and yeah. extremely supportive. I don't know. It's just that I'm interested in, in both the things. I want to do both the things. I don't know. You want to try both, yeah? Yeah. But uh, if you are like kind of focused on ch only chess and can just really be uh, on the highest level very fast, maybe also cool. I don't know. Depends how much you want it. Yeah. Um, yeah. I just, uh, I don't know. I don't know how to explain the studies is always like a sort of it for me. Okay. 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 Anyway, you have enough time to, uh, I mean, to be b good at both things. So it's fine. And yes. um, so tell me. Uh, do you know something about the Russian champion? I'm sure you know no. about women's championship a lot, was, probably. Yeah, I was just going to ask you that what all has been happening. Can you please tell me? Yeah, yeah. So the point is that uh, it's the Russian championship super final. So it means that uh, mm -hmm. uh, like all the best uh, Russian chess players, both men and women, they play for the uh, Russian Russian title, like the the champion of Russia or something. And uh, it's like the final stage where they play the super finals. There were some qualifications for this and so on. But all the best players are allowed to play directly. Like, uh, of course, uh, Nipomnishi, uh, Karyakin, probably Krishuk that didn't play this time. And uh, some others, some 27 players and so on. So uh, they're playing for the title. I think it's 12 players and uh, 11 rounds. And it's like mm -hmm. one of the hardest, toughest championships in the world in general. And now in this pandemic, oh. everybody's at home. So more or less everybody is in Russia and uh, everybody is uh, available. Is this an online tournament? No, no, it's OTB somehow. It's, oh, it's uh, OTB. It's, yeah, it's one of the rare OTB tournaments nowadays. And, and maybe... what are they fighting for? 
Russian title of the Russian championship or you mean the, the uh, prices okay. or should I say the prices or something? I don't know what's the price. I thought there. that uh, the like top five or top four would get selected for the Olympiad. For the Olympiad, uh, yeah, probably there is a place. But for example, I think that like um, guys like Nepo, um, I mean, they qualify directly there uh, to the Olympiads, to the team. Um, because I mean, he's what, like, uh, he's in top 10 in the world. So probably he qualifies directly even without playing the championship. But um, mm -hmm. some of the players, certainly they, they should probably prove that, uh, I mean, they're worth the team or something. And uh, probably the captain wants them to play there and see their, like, you know, shape for now. But the Olympiad, it's not sure where it is, the next one. So, uh, I mean, what exactly is the Olympiad and where? Because now no tournaments, so I'm not sure. And, uh, yeah, but you are right. I mean, probably some of the players, they qualify through this event. I think maybe, okay. uh, like, maybe third, fourth rated in the team or something. Maybe fifths, they qualify somehow. But is it the same in India? You qualify through this? Or, for example, if there is Anand and he doesn't play the championship, probably he's qualified directly, right? Yes, the team anyway. he is qualified. And, like, I think the top three, four are qualified and a few get selected from the national championship. Okay, yeah, that's fair enough, yeah. So, um, do you know the, 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 the men's players? Uh, yes, I do. Except Carlson. Except Carlson. While you were busy fixing your OBS, I was looking at the games. Ah, okay, okay. I thought you were looking at the names. Like, uh, <laughs> you know Carlson for sure, but uh, do you know, let's say, uh, do you know, let's say, uh, Nepo you know as well, right? Yes, I know all of them. Who, for example? For example... Matlakov, you know Matlakov, let's say? What? Yes, Matla I do. Ah, so you know everyone. Yeah. So hard, so hard. Nowadays, uh, <laughs> kids, they know everyone. Guys, everything and everyone. <laughs> So tell me, tell me, tell me, what do you think about the position in Nepo's game? Can you uh, see it on the, can you see there? Um, yeah, I'll have to open. Yeah, uh, so Nepo's, oh, okay, against Matlako? Yeah. Okay. I mean, it's a really crazy game since the beginning. And, um, uh. yeah. To watch it through so maybe you can entertain the chat man yeah yeah yeah. i mean uh yeah go through the game i mean it's really crazy i think he had a great preparation matlakov and uh uh they got in this position now which is probably better for for white much better okay um let me see the chat so devin's there Devin is the only uh, mod that I see in my chat that talks more than me. <laughs> I think he's the only one that talks more than me in any in any of the no not in any of the chat because uh, Adiban would be the leader. But uh, Devin is there, and it's just uh, uh, Dart Vivek is saying that. But do you know the real Rajabov? Yeah, man, I do. I do. Hiding somewhere. So um, why was Anish playing? Ranvir Singh, why, why was Anish playing? You mean in this, on the stream I showed some game, but uh, it's like Danjo Super Tournament. In um, I mean, in China they play in some special area, all of them, but uh, the players from the from the other countries, they play online. Um, they're not in the same area, of course. Let's say uh, Giri and Grishuk, they're playing from different locations. Giri from Netherlands and Grishuk from Moscow, probably. Um, Devin, no, but I like Devin, Devin, I like the fact, Devin says that ha, 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 I was trying to help, but Devin, no, I, I like this fact, I mean, it's like just very nice of you uh, that you're talking uh, a lot there, I just really like it. And um, Divya, yes. are you introvert or extrovert by nature? Uh, I am in the middle of both, like sometimes I don't want to talk to anyone and sometimes I can talk with anyone. <laughs> Okay, what, what state uh, are you in now? I... Depends. Right now. On what, right now, okay. Um, I don't know, I'm in my normal state. Like, I can it's talk. fine, it, it's fine. You can, you, can say, you can say that you hate me, it's okay. I mean, on my streams it's fine, just uh, to destroy the... To destroy <laughs> no, the, you know, the, I don't hate uh, you. You don't hate me, yeah. Okay, she doesn't hate me, guys, at, at least. At least, at least she doesn't hate me, even though uh, 
my expertise in Zoom uh, could really lead to that, but still. Guys, she, she doesn't uh, hate me and uh, hope ambivert is called. No, I think not. Uh, what does it mean? It's like in like between this uh, between, Wait. between this two like introvert and stuff. Yeah, 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 I'm that. Yes, yes. Yeah. So Divya, tell me how many day, how many not days, but how many hours per day do you study chess? Study your chess. Yeah. How do you study your chess? I mean, how many how many hours per day? Okay. Um, well, studies, I barely do like three, four hours at the time. I'm just pretending to study, but I end up doing nothing at all. And yeah. chess, I can do like eight to nine hours. How many? Uh, are you dead or did you lose internet? I don't know. What no, happened? no, I didn't lose internet for sure. But how many hours per, per day do you do like chess, like chess trainings? I actually, honestly, I can do chess whole day. Now that uh, I, um, I don't know how to explain this. I've been uh, off chess since like three months, right? So I can do like eight hours, nine hours, anything. So you can do eight hours to nine hours uh, per day, like uh, no problems at all. Yep. For a With long studies, time. studies, it's just very tough. Like very very tough. Chess, you mean, or the the making studies. it for eight hours? Studies. Just the studies in school. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. the studies in school. Uh, it's terrible. It's dangerous. Yeah. It's uh, <laughs> destroying. I mean, from time to time. I mean, uh, yeah, yeah. But uh, chess studies is cool, no? I mean, it's like it's nice to. Yes, to do chess, chess well. studies is pretty cool. Yes. Yeah. So, um, yeah, if you study, if you can maintain this kind of uh, routine for eight to nine hours a day, for how long can you do that? I mean, let's say, for example, I remember with Shahriyar once we had uh, we had this idea. I mean, he had it on his own and I had it on, on my own as well that we will do like, uh, you know, chest trainings for 16 hours a day. And we did for wow. like, uh, I think we did for a week or something. And then both of us, we couldn't, uh, couldn't do anything <laughs> for, for, for the rest of like the months or something. And that, that was really crazy. And um, so, uh, so you can do eight to nine hours for how long can you maintain this kind of uh, routine? When I was a kid, I did uh, maybe, uh, maybe I did, um, what did I do? I did like, okay, every day I did maybe uh, eight and a half. Uh, eight and a half, but for many years, like constantly, every day, except um, okay, so Sundays, except like half of the Saturday and the Sunday. Uh, this was, this yeah, was yeah. quite quite inter interesting uh, schedule that that my dad put me in. Like, uh, <laughs> so I was doing it like since I was maybe uh, what maybe uh, eight or nine, and up to twenty something. Oh. So this was my routine. Like I was doing it like constantly on this basis. So it was, let's say I would start like, uh, like nine and then do until, um, until two or two thirty, And then from wow. half, from half past, uh, from half past five till half past nine. And that would, that would be my routine for, f I don't know, 14 years, 20 years, well, maybe 20 years in a row. Almost I was working like this. And um, so I would do it until the Saturday and then the half of the Saturday break and the Sunday break as well. So, yeah, that was the schedule. Oh, wow. And uh, you can maintain the, such a schedule like for how long do you think like, you can do it for how many years do you think? One year, uh, three months or you can. I actually I was more hard working when I was a kid, like when I was approximately um, six to seven years i used to sit literally 24 hours like i i uh, like i should uh sorry one second yeah what's going on there dog oh nothing uh, nothing uh i used to uh once i remember that in i was seven years old and i was playing some nationals and uh so I had 102 fever and uh, so I still won that nationals. That was like, I used to work literally the moment I got up to the moment I slept. 
wow. that's all i did wow okay okay so uh i mean was this uh yeah if you are such a hard working person i think you should set yourself the goals of becoming the world champion and uh don't waste the rest of your time for anything else i mean to be honest i yes. think I, I would do that uh is there like i don't know the director of your school you can talk to and say that i want to become a world <laughs> champion can i just skip please <laughs> i wish i could do that can we write uh, can we write something like a uh, open letter from the i don't know some some chess players uh where where, where do you live like uh, in not in pune i hope <laughs> no, 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 I don't live in Pune. I live in Nagpur. It's near the Mumbai. Near uh, near Mumbai? Yes. Guys, you are all there, yeah. like uh, all around Mumbai. Like, really, what's going on? <laughs> Actually, Maharashtra, even though it's a big state, everything is pretty much uh, very well connected. So, for uh, to go to Mumbai, it takes just like third forty five minutes of a flight. Ah, okay, cool 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 so can we make a petition or something like uh, from our uh, chat or channels or i mean top top chess players uh, oh, for God. you to skip, go, skip school and uh, be a full-time professional chess player i honestly have no idea oh div yeah but that's so cool if you can really maintain such a schedule for a long time like uh, it's so helpful because you can really study a lot of things super fast and uh, certainly it means that you're very yes. motivated as well so you yes. love you love the game right yes yeah but that's uh, i mean oh my god it's so cool guys it's really so cool so nice to hear is you know because chess is not an easy thing to work on for a long time and uh, a lot of positions can be just not fun at all uh, just hard to study from time to time because there are some you know like technical positions or, or stuff like that and uh let's say in my childhood i was a huge fan of um huge fan of some tactical positions and stuff to solve them studies and all this do you do, do you solve some studies like kubel yes. studies and all that stuff yes i do uh did you solve any kind of study that took you like one or two days or something yes i actually uh i have studied a lot of studies like that i have solved a lot of them and they've just wrecked my brain literally out yeah and then when you when you try to find yes. uh, when you try trying to find the solution sometimes you go to sleep or something and then you're like you are hating yourself for not being able to figure out the the move sequence or something yes 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 so it happens you just you get well. very frustrated yeah yeah i was just like literally like getting crazy yeah over yes. these things but um divya um tell me queen's gambit have you watched it <laughs> No, no, no. Uh, everyone is telling me to watch Queen's Gambit, yeah. but uh, maybe I'll start it after like this December ends. I'm right now like busy a little bit, so I don't really get time. To okay, watch. okay, okay. So you don't have time uh, to watch the Queen's Gambit. Uh, <laughs> no, you're trying to create a controversy. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Why not? No. It's uh, like um, uh, it's a nice controversy. Yeah. It's like a pleasant one. It's okay. I I've heard very good reviews about it, so I'm going to watch it as soon as it's possible. Okay, but is it it isn't it uh, like not like 16 plus or maybe I think 16 plus, yeah, probably. I, I don't know. But, but maybe chess players are allowed uh, earlier <laughs> I, I, mean, I, I have don't no idea. Know. Okay, guys, I will I fix the board. I ask my friends if they watch, like if they watch, I watch okay okay so um yeah so still the, the same position you saw the game right uh, up to e4 uh Nep nepo matlakov no yes yes I, I think it's better for white yeah it's certainly better for white uh he could play better just before i mean he allowed this b5 he gave the pawn on a6 and um then position became like really bad for black so now he's trying some chances but it doesn't seem to be working so after e4 already you know the king is safe now i mean it can go to b1 always and uh seems that nepo is on his way to to defeat matlakov yeah. in this game who is uh leading in this tournament right now no one unexpectedly uh it's just just the first round started today oh oh 
okay. Yeah, yeah, it's the first round. So, uh, yeah. So, actually, nobody's, like, kind of leading because not all the games finished and some, some were finished in a draw. Um, yeah, so this was a really crazy game. Uh, and the other two were really exciting as well, like Dubov. Uh, he just dominated out of the opening. Uh, Dubov mm -hmm. against the Esipenko. Uh, once uh, again, I'll switch off my Skype sounds. They must be coming in the stream. Okay, then. Sorry? Uh, I switched off my Skype sounds because they must be coming in the stream, right? Okay, yeah. It's fine now? You can see the game? Yeah, yeah it's fine. Yes. So, uh, I mean, he found some ID in the opening, so just got better immediately, uh, Dubov, against Yesipenko. Yesipenko is also a kind of young talent. I don't know if, if you can call it a young talent, because he's already like 27 almost and 18 years old. Yes. Yeah, hard to say if it's young talent. Young talent nowadays, I don't know, it's like uh, all the 10 years old, it's like now 2600 or something, so... I don't know who is the young talent. If you're 18 already, what what is it like now? Hard to say. But um, in this game, so Dubov plays against Yesipenko, goes for this line, got some kind of advantage, a bit strange play by Black, but uh, probably he didn't know what to do exactly and was afraid of some preparations. So he got mm -hmm. into this position after like 14 e5. Already White is almost winning, in my opinion, like after 14 e5. He just gave a pawn there on d4. And um, probably not enough compensations at all, right? E5, knight f5, knight c5. You see the position there? The Dubov Yesipenko game. Move 15. Yep. Yes. Yeah, and knight is 3 very strong. And after this, I think white is just uh, completely winning. And now um, this technical part comes. He tries to defend still. E4, castle short, queen d4. Maybe rook fd1 or rook ad1 was better here for white. Move 18. But he went knight d5, takes takes. And some mess is created now after e3. Knight c4, takes f2, king h1, and this position. So, do you think he will win this? Seemingly, like, close to winning, right? Yes, should be. I I think he'll convert it. Okay. So, Divya, tell me. Um, <laughs> I've heard um, that literally 10 times. Till the time of, like, since the time I've come here, I've yeah. heard it 10 times. Yeah, 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 because I'm thinking about the question as well. Just deciding <laughs> what exactly I want to ask right now because I have 5,000 questions like to almost uh, every person that comes here for the stream. And oh, uh, wow. all, I mean, like all interesting people, I think, like uh, really, uh, you know, the, the, the talents. And uh, Samai, for example, you know Samai Reiner, right? Uh, yes. Yeah. And so he played on guitar on one of the streams, uh, was very emotional. Mm -hmm. And uh, so you see, I mean, the, the different type of talents are coming and... Um, they have a lot to say and I have a lot to ask, especially that we're yeah. all like kind of chess professionals. And uh, Samai at the moment is the amateur, but I think that the way he learns chess, he will become also, will join the Indian national team soon. So, um, wow. why not? Why not? I mean, he's improving so fast. No, I'm joking. I mean, probably not, of course, but I mean, it's, you have to start really early. But um, yeah, so today I was asked uh, who of the Indian talents may become the world champions uh so what do you think um as in what age category any except any. anand because he already did it okay um i honestly have no idea uh, it's a question for you so you should answer it i answered it already i wanted your opinion Let's say if you think oh. about uh, any Indian player that could become, let's say, uh, okay, um, men's world champion, in, in men's category, world champion. Um, men's, okay. Right now, it should be one of Nihal, Prag, or maybe... Yeah, one of the Nihal and Okay, so I, I said the same guys you see are uh, just uh, clear. It's clear. So we know, we know the people. And um, also, there was a hard question for me today about um, deciding between Hare Krishna and Vidit in terms of uh, who is the strongest player. Mm -hmm. And that was really hard. And uh, I didn't decide, and I said that uh, they're almost uh, even now by the rating, very close, I think. 
So uh, yes. and also both have chances, I think, to become world champions. I mean, not even the young talents, but uh, them as well. I think they always have a chance to become the world champions. Still, still a lot of time to go. And uh, yeah, if with the right discipline, with the right uh, you know, um, right attitude, <laughs> I think they can. So um, yes. tell me, tell me one thing once again. Yes. <laughs> yes. Which time? Which time is it? Sixties, sixteens, or or fifteens? Yeah, maybe. 16, 17. I think 16s probably. I lost count. Yes, you lost count. I also lost count. And um, um, okay, 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 okay. What I'm thinking. So do you think how, how much time it will take you to beat um, Yifan if she Yifan who if she uh, keeps on playing or let's say um, uh, Zuvenzun if uh, yeah probably she will she will be playing all the time so what do you think how how many years do we need we need precise um, precise estimation i'm, I'm telling just one thing i cannot say this i don't know no 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 no, I... no. i need it to be precise i need to be precise yes. yeah, because i need to schedule a stream uh for so, what for this uh for this event when you be, when you become the world champion i need a precise oh, wow. time to be able to because you know these people in chat they will be very upset mm -hmm. if i if i don't schedule that's the problem but so are you, you sure that you'll still remember obs by that time uh no i don't need obs by that time by that mm -hmm. time already i don't i mean there will be some kind of holograms or stuff like that working probably or some other <laughs> stuff yeah we and, will uh, type telepathy telepathy yeah for example <laughs> yeah 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 and um, if it would be asked that time, but I mean, you could just tell me and uh, without without this, you know, without the stream, I would just already hear it like telepathy way would be nice. But tell me, what do you think? Uh, which year to beat uh, Yifan Hu or Zuvenjun or Zuvenjun? I don't know exactly how to pronounce. So guys, please. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I've not really thought about it. Like my aim is not really that. I just want to get good at chess, like really good. Women's world champion or good men's as... top ten? What is the goal? Yeah, I want to compete with the men's section, not the women's section. Top ten. I I can try. There's no harm. Or chance. world champion. I don't know. I'm just asking because you can set your yourself. I mean, as higher the goal is, uh, the better. But uh, yeah, what is it? but it also needs to be realistic. No. Sure. Yes, I learned that in psychology. You learned that in psychology. It should be no. It's not. Yes. It's, it's very bad. It's very bad, Divya. <laughs> this is bad with psychology. No, really. it. Uh, I learned that if you set a realistic goal and you accomplish it, you get a sense of achievement. Yeah, but it's when you are working towards the goal. Then you have to set like small <laughs> goals. No, I mean on this way you can set the small goals, uh, like um, for example achieving like twenty five hundred, I don't know twenty six hundred, and so on. Yes. But overall, your goal should be like really uh, like super. Uh, I don't know. To yes. Be Carlson overall in the goals can be uh, really like high, but for now it needs to be a little bit rest. For now, yes. For now, yes, but overall should be uh, something amazing like beating Carlson. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yes. Why not? I why mean, not? why not? Of course, you can. You can do that. So, Divya, tell me. But uh, in order to beat him, you will have to change this knight c6 d6 stuff. Believe me. Okay. I'll but I will talk to Srinath by that time. Yeah. Yes, as, as soon as I finish the stream, I'm just going to text Srinath. You, you text Srinath, you say like, uh, Srinath, yes. uh, uh, please, I want to play against Carlson. So can we have like Berlin established or some, I don't know, yes. some Spanish maybe. Cool, cool, cool. Um, okay, let me see who is writing me this. Oh my God, so many messages. Divya, <laughs> everybody, everyone thinks you are very sweet, very uh, nice person. Um, who is thinking that? Sorry? Who is thinking that? Why should I tell you the names? It's, it's very bad, it's, it, you know, I mean, it's like my direct messages became uh, part of a big game nowadays. So uh, I'm not, uh, you know, I'm in a super incognito mode now. Everyone that writes to me has different names and uh, you can't even know. For example, um, for example, Samai is like, I don't know, it's like, uh, what is he written like? Let me see. 
Sama is what there. Uh, Sama is uh, Antonio in my contacts, so you will never know that it's my chat with him. <laughs> I'm changing the names all the time. So tell me, um, tell me, tell me once again, 50th time, thinking on the question that I have to ask you, because I've had a lot, I've had a lot, um, yes. especially during the Olympiads, also had a lot, but didn't want to disturb you because you were winning, uh, destroying everyone. Yes. And... Um, <laughs> Uh, okay, tell me first of all, what is exactly your rating now on 1st December? Okay, uh, it's 2305. Let me see. I, I need to see myself. I won't lie to you. Why will I lie to you? 2305, yes. No, uh, you wouldn't lie, but maybe you forgot or something. I, I believe in uh, <laughs> Google and, uh, you know, all that stuff. I believe that human may commit mistakes. It's like stockfish for me. I need to check. <laughs> So tell Actually, me. Actually, it should be me, the one who should be asking you questions. Because Ask you're me. the girl number 10, not me. Ask me any questions you want. I honestly have no questions. You don't have any but questions. But I'll think, I'll think of them. Okay, you can send me the questions on my uh, email, WhatsApp, and when, uh, wherever you want. I have a lot, uh, I have a lot to say, I have a lot to say. But uh, yeah, actually I'm open to any, any questions. So the chat knows it very well. Yeah, and yes. uh, Antonio, Antonio also knows it very well, Antonio Reina. And um, um, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. So Divya, the goal is yes. twenty five hundred. Yes. As fast as Quite possible. Yep. Cool, 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 cool. As as white, what do you do? E four or D four? Um, I like both, but I'm mostly a E four player. E four. Yes. Aggressive. Yes. Okay, it's aggressive, yeah. And uh, on D4 as black, you go Nimtso. That's kind of... Yeah, but no, no, that's normal. That's normal, yeah. Because, I mean, <laughs> if you play Nimtso and stuff... Because all the aggressive players, usually they don't go Nimtso, yeah? I mean, they go something like King's Indian and stuff. I mean, the childhood yes. at least. Now you are, now you are already... Um, you are already not, uh, as you said, not a kid. Even though, of course, uh, in my <laughs> age, I would consider you a kid for sure. But, uh, yeah, so certainly... Let's say if you are playing this kind of uh, openings, do you think mm. that you should change or you will uh, like? Yeah, I really need to change my openings a lot. Like uh, after I get back, after I finish this whole studies thing, I am going to change my whole opening repertoire for sure. Okay, and when is your study going to finish? April. April. If I pass. <laughs> Okay, wait. You are in, uh, you are then going to the university. What, what is it? No, 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 I'm just in tenth. Like ah, you're, you're in tenth. Um, you have eleven, right there, or? Uh, yes. So I'll just have maybe I'll take a year's one year break, and then maybe I'll think about it. Yeah, yeah. But uh, I would suggest that you become the world champ, chess w women, men, world champion. I mean, both mm -hmm. world champion, whatever. I mean, it's like the, just the world champion, and uh, <laughs> just keep on skip uh, all of these uh, studies that are really uh, yeah. pressuring you and uh, not letting you show the the super talent that you have for chess and especially like the super discipline that you told us. It's amazing, actually. I don't. I, I mean, eight and a half to nine hours to work chess and uh, be just in, in a great shape without really. Uh, I mean, being, uh, I don't know, uh, like tired or something, whatever you call it. Like, it's really hard because I know I know how hard it can be. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> Is it like on your own that you're training or with Srinath? Uh, Srinath. All the time? Yes. Uh, not all the time. Like, we have classes a few times a week. Mm -hmm. And the rest of the time, I uh, do it alone. Okay, cool. So now we know, guys, that uh, Srinath can work eight and a half to nine hours a day. Uh, <laughs> no, <laughs> he can't. He can't. <laughs> Without the problem as well. So this is some kind of uh, I don't know super team. I don't know what they eat, what they what they do. I mean, what kind of uh, dopings and stuff. I don't know. I don't understand, guys. I mean, this uh, 14, 15 years old kids. They they work eight and a half to nine hours. Basically, uh, uh, like how can we uh, these uh, guys. Uh, Nihal, Arjun, uh, Ronak and everyone, we just, uh, I earlier when I first met them, we used to stay up till 4 o'clock in the morning, just playing random bullets, blitz, variants, 
and everything and those guys still do it but uh, i've started to sleep a bit early oh my god <laughs> I, I I can't see your video, so I have no idea what expressions you're giving. Yeah, but you have YouTube, yeah, just in case. But you don't yeah, know. Yeah, it has a delay. Right? Slow down, it, there's the delay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, but DVI, I think you should sleep. I mean, uh, whatever you love chess, I understand, but sleep is important as well. Yeah, to be in super shape. And um, DVI, do you think that um, when the OTB tournaments will be back? Huh? How old will you be, you think? Um, I guess they'll be back by next year, right? I mean, the uh, right, COVID is kind of gone, pretty much, at least in India. Yeah, because, I mean, yeah, you think so? Yeah, you I the, think so. The virus? Uh, yes, the virus. No, the virus is still there. Still there. Still there. So you think at 15, you will start playing the OTB tournaments, right? Uh, I am going to turn 50 in four days. Ah, it's just four days. Ah, okay, okay, okay. So, <laughs> so you will not, so you will not. So that's 16, maybe. Yeah, I'll be 16. In super, uh, super, you know, with the super openings, with uh, 50,000 uh, chess hours worked, you'll be back and destroy them all. I really think you should change the title of the stream. I mean, it makes no sense. What, what? The title of the stream makes no sense right the now. Yeah, oh, uh, Divya, it's uh, <laughs> not an original opinion, I must tell you. Not an original opinion. What? Um, Who copied my opinion? Sorry? Who copied my opinion? Oh, oh the, um, how to say? There are good guys in the chat that copied your opinion exactly there. Ah. Uh. Yeah, and uh, what is it? Oh wait, what? Queen c5? Ah, okay. Wow. You see, I mean, what kind of... You think this should be winning for life? You, yeah, I mean, if you play queen takes c5, I guess it's just winning completely, yeah? Otherwise, in, that, in such position, you have so many ways to proceed. I think he just went for it, like... Uh... Yes. On purpose, yeah, because it was winning. So rook e5, queen takes, takes knight d7, queen g5, and knight takes f8, yeah, I guess. Or what was the idea? Knight takes f8. Um, What's the idea there? Knight f8, king f8. Uh, yeah, probably it's just winning, yeah. Can he just go... Uh, D7, maybe no. Yeah, D7, Queen D8. And some Rook F2, yeah. maybe. And then just bring the Rook or something. Yeah, maybe you first take on D7. And then you can place the Bishop maybe on C8. Yeah, but do you need it there? I mean, it's also probably possible. But I mean, if you put the Bishop on C8, then there is some Rook C5 from time to time. And can then threaten to take on C8. I mean, let's say if we talk about the position after king takes f8 now, um, d7, queen d8, let's say bishop b7, then maybe take on b5, no? And where will you put the bishop? On c8, then maybe just rook c5 and then take, no? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it should work, I think yeah, so. Yeah, so I guess he wants just rook takes f2. Yeah, rook takes okay. f2. And then immediately bring it, like rook f4, rook c4, depends, uh, I mean, depends what uh, what black does, of course, after rook f2. But, uh, yeah, it's interesting how he goes on this position, right? <laughs> Actually, it was played in the game already. Knight f8, king f8. d7 played. Now, queen d8 will be played uh, immediately. Done. Mm -hmm. yeah. And now I cannot imagine... Uh, that uh, he will not win this and he just went for this position. So I think rook f2, he sees yes. this idea. Rook f2 is the idea, rook takes b5, rook f4, and then uh, he can go rook c4 or rook e4. And uh, I mean, um, either that way. That should be winning. Like, yeah, yes. should be winning because the Black bishop Black is up. pretty much crammed up. Yeah, yeah. So the queen on d8 is completely not moving now. And uh, yeah. And if rook f2, rook c7, then bishop h3. Just supporting this, maybe this rook c7, just bishop h3, I guess. Yeah, yeah, this is completely winning, right? Yeah, and then the bishop can go to e6 after g6 or something. 
<coughs> like that. Or e4, maybe on bishop e6, no matter. Yeah, this should oh. be winning, but let's see if he finds it. I mean, there are other games to see. Let's just come back to it. Uh, um, yes. Nepo, Nepo Miachi versus Matlakov took a bit of turn, but it should be still very good for me. How did you manage to pronounce the, his surname? Nepo. Um, surname. Whose surname? Nepo Miachi? Yeah. Is it correct? Did I go wrong? Yeah, yeah, I think I mean in in English translation is right. Uh, like in Russian, when you when you when you pronounce it, it's like uh, uh, Nipomnishi. So okay, it's like Nipomnishi, Nipomnishi. Yeah. Nipomnishi. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I don't know how to. Yeah, that's that's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Okay. And okay, you should, uh, not 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 too many emphasis on this. Like you you do a day like she, no, <laughs> just uh, like uh, Nipomnishi, just Nipomnishi. Yeah, yeah and. Okay. Um, uh, I mean, uh, yeah, and uh, the way you pronounce it's right in English. It's right. I think Nipomniachtchi. It's 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 also right. But yes. uh, if you pronounce it like the way it should be, like in Russian, then it's like uh, like I've told you, yeah, Nipomniachtchi. In Russian, I can only speak one thing. That is Shakmati. Shakmati. Yes. Which is chess. No, I thought it was checkmate. Sorry. Oh, is it chess? Is it chess? Shakmati, you said. Yes. Yeah, Shakmati is chess. Okay, I thought it was checkmate. No, 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 no. It's a uh, shahmat is uh, is chess, yeah, yeah, that's correct. Uh -huh. And uh, the checkmate is like just mat. Like ah, there is mat, okay. uh, stalemate is uh, mat is mate, like checkmate, and uh, pat is like um, pat is like st stalemate is like pat pat. So there is mat for the checkmate, and pat for the stalemate. But um, you know, DV, that Fisher uh, studied Russian, yeah, in order to be. Uh, like more strong in chess and so on he studied russian and in order oh, yeah, to be, yeah yeah yes. yeah yeah so, so do you want to study russian or are you saying now already with carlson being the world champion it's not necessary um i really want to study russian like i love learning foreign languages and any language so i first i'm right now learning a little bit of spanish so i'll finish it and since russian is a very hard language i'll start a little divya can you yes. focus? Can you focus on chess, please? <laughs> okay, sure. I was. I thought that uh, you were going to change the stream by the. But okay, we should focus. No, on it's that. Russian Championship Super Final. Why should I look? OTB chess yes. still alive? Yes, it's alive. And unexpected chat feature. Okay, this is completely different. But Russian Super Championship. I mean, Super Final is there. Uh, exactly. OTB chess. Yeah. I'm telling you to focus on it, but you're like, no, we should talk something else. And then you're like, the red, uh, yes, the red tell me. That is why we should go back to this. Divya, another thing is yes. that you want to watch, you want to watch chess. And I did it for, uh, I mean, since I was three and a half years old. So yes. like, um, uh, <laughs> what is it? Like 30, 30 years I'm uh, studying, I mean, studying chess, watching chess and stuff. And when I see a lot of great talents that come to the streams, it's just uh, so many things I want to ask that I forget about uh, the games. Yeah, that's true. That's true. That's my problem. Yes. That's, you know, the, the problem, it's the problem of the old people. You should respect. You should respect because uh, it's like, you know, um, you, will, you will become old at some point as well. Can, you be, uh, can I be back in a second? Yeah, yeah, yeah of course, of course. So, guys, you see? Um, like all of you, all of you who is over 30 will understand me and all of you who are 15, 14 years old. Yeah, no easy, no easy. It's the problem, problem of generations, problem of generations, this understanding and so on. Like, um, Divya wants, uh, as some of our chat members work on chess see a lot of posi positions and uh, I am the fan of uh, a lot of talks and discussions with the very talented people and she's uh, certainly super talented super talented yeah um, Tanish Sharma says what about 20 plus Raja 20 plus Shreya Dolakya says age is just a number Raja 
Yeah, that's true. That's true. But I mean, uh, certainly you have different priorities from time to time, right? In different ages. And um, yeah. But I no, I, I, I recall that um, I was kind of very talkative when I was 15, 16 as well. Even when I was a kid, when I was devious age, of course, I would talk for hours and ages. But instead of everything else, I mean, it would be like chess and talks. And studies like, oh, please, uh, when I talk about it, when I say about studies, when I say about all this stuff. Stanford, Harvard, Ivy League universities. Yale, Eton, everything, please. No offense, no offense. Just, uh, I think that the, if you have a great talent, like in something, like for example, chess, you should be focused on chess. Should not waste your time on anything else because this is probably the talent given to you by the higher powers and you should stick to it as much as you can. <coughs> you are back. <laughs> yes. Was it an important call? Uh, no. How much Divya? What? You know this uh, how, how much thing when uh, somebody like no. you know ignores you or something and stuff, uh, yeah. or like Samai he does a lot of like advertisements and so on. People ask in the chat. Huh? And I started this stuff uh, by asking Vidit how much, like he got for I think Black Lotus app advertisement and something like that. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, no. It was just a report. Yeah, MIT guys, MIT. Yeah, I know MIT is like, uh, they have like the most of the um, uh, Nobel Prize winners, right? Like 55 or 56 or something. Is it right? Yeah. Um, yeah. I have no idea. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm just talking to the chat because they were asking like MIT offended. I was talking about, uh, I mean, when you were busy there talking, um, talking with someone, was it Srinath? No. <laughs> No. Like, why do you say bad things about me in there on Raja's stream? <laughs> no, I didn't say bad things. He's pre uh, he's a pretty good coach. Like, yeah, he is sure. a very good coach. I ca I can't explain it. Yeah, yeah, you can't explain how good uh, as a coach he is. Yeah, and now probably I'll get a call that what happened to me. Am I okay? Do I have a fever? Why, Divya? Because uh, I never. Uh, like appreciate him in front of him. Ah, so you can. Oh, okay. Then I should really rename Divya appreciating Srinath <laughs> as a stream. Yeah, should change the Maybe. title. So Divya, tell me about the positions, chess, <laughs> ideas. Yes. Yeah, sorry. I, yes. I, again, I said tell me, but which game yeah. are we talking about? Any game you like, but Nepo made a lot of mistakes, and now he's worse. Look at this. Oh, what? No. Yeah, yeah. So after position we have seen there, it was this e4 move, move 25. Mm -hmm. And um, so what happened there is um, this e4, bishop takes c7, e takes f5, queen takes f5, bishop e4. Yes. Queen d7. Mm -hmm. Bishop f4 is a threat, king b1. Bishop f4 still, queen b6, which is right. Queen d6 now, kind of mistake. And now d5 was completely winning, already uh, picking up most of the pawns. Yes. He went instead, okay, bishop c2 what? was also possible with the idea of 94. Yes, sir. Go ahead, please. No, nothing. You wanted to say something or you saw that uh, it doesn't work? Uh, I uh, I was checking again. Okay, I think so I just had it out and it's killed. Okay, so queen d6. Um, he went rook hf1, which is also not bad. Um, yeah, rook hf1, which is also no, not bad, knight d7, and now... Queen a6 was a mistake, right? Yeah, it seems to be, I mean, according to compi at least, but queen a5 was somehow stronger. It's not that easy to understand queen a5 is stronger, is it? I wouldn't think that queen a5 is that much stronger, right? Mm -hmm. And... Look at the position after queen a6, rook e8. Already it's not that easy to win the game, right? I mean, rook e8, and what to do exactly now? Uh, okay, better, yeah. I understand, but maybe bishop f3 was the move, I don't know. But he went yes. bishop c2, which is very logical as well. Knight f6. And now already compi shows that it's like slight advantage to white. It's not that much. Still, he had to go d5 here. 
but instead he went a3. But if we um, look at the time, um, Matlakov he has, has... Yeah, a 15 minutes difference. Yeah, 15 minutes difference and also like two minutes for uh, eight moves for yes. Matlakov. Is it? Is it uh, yeah, I think it's 90 minutes for 40 moves. Yes. So um, he has to find some best way now in terms of like knight g4 or something. Um, yeah. Maybe he has just two minutes, so maybe he will find. You think he will find a defense here after a three? Um, he's after all at twenty seven hundred, so he should. I guess. Yeah, but knight g four is it? Is he? You see? Uh, did I see? Yeah, I mean, uh, do you think that knight g four is easy to find here after a three? No, it's actually not easy because there's always this threat of knight e four, so maybe he's busy calculating. Yeah, because it's like always there and sometimes yes. you are not even calculating this. But 9g4, he can figure it out maybe, yeah? Still yes. uh, still enough time somehow. So 9g4, 93 is a, like a huge threat. I mean, but not an easy move to find. Before maybe is natural? Is it before that, that is very natural um, to play? No, I don't think that he'll complicate in such a low time. Like he has really low time. So you think 9g4 he will figure out that it works and go there? Um, yeah, 9g4 it should work because 9g4 you can just go back to the queen and uh, 9g3 is always a good threat. I hope he figures it out. I don't know. Who are you supporting in this? Wait, mm -hmm. wait, wait. Let me go in again. So rather tell me, who are you supporting in this? <laughs> no, I'm not supporting anyone. I just, uh, just watch. Yeah, you see he didn't fight. But um, I'm not supporting anyone. I mean, Karyakin is my friend, uh, Sergei Karyakin. And uh, yeah, I would be happy if he plays a great tournament. But uh, in this, uh, I mean, no one. I mean, Nep uh, I mean, in this exact game, I am more for Nepo, of course. I mean, because Nepo is like, uh, I'm on very good terms with Nepo. And uh, yeah, I, I mean, I would generally prefer him to, to, to score, let's say, in this game or something. But it's not like I'm like, like a huge fan rooting or something. I mean, it's like we're not that, we're not friends, but we're on good terms, I would say. So, um, uh, do you think that after knight g4, uh, after a3, knight g4, move 33, let's say knight g4, uh, knight e4? He played queen c7. Yeah, he played, but knight g4, knight e4, uh, queen c7, he would be just kind of close to winning, right? Um, who? Uh, Matlakov in this case. After I think eight. it's better for black, but since he has a low time, he, uh, I don't know. No, he already messed it up with, with queen c7. Yes. Queen c7 and now white is better. I mean, and also not that is not that hard moves. Rook f3, rook d3, both of moves are very logical. Even bishop b3 is logical. I mean, this I think uh, Nepo will find now. Let me see what's going on there in chat. Probably. Uh, who's there? Let me see. Oh wow, well, uh, Somia D is there in chat. Where is Somia? Is there? She yeah, I can see her. Not sure. Apparently, apparently, you missed a lot of super chats. Where, where is the Somia? Tell me. Um. No, I think her I internet think... is very bad. She said in in one of our chats. Uh, okay. Um, uh, I cannot read things that they're writing there because it's uh. <laughs> yeah, mm, yeah. Let me just write. Let me chat. Yeah. So, what about this position? Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. I will tell uh, you, which say it position? 50 times. After queen c7, a3, queen c7. Okay. Um, should be better for Nepo, Nepo Miyashi. Is it correct? Yeah, that's correct. Yeah. Yeah. How, how fast you can learn things? I mean, do you really need eight hours per day for chess? Maybe faster. <laughs> yeah. If you can learn Nepo Miyashi's surname like this. And uh, Spanish, what level is it now? A A one is it or a whatever? What is it? No, I can just speak uh, like very few things. Like uh, saying hi and something else. Yes, hi, bye, thank you, please. Okay, okay, okay. Not bad. You have just started, right? Yes. I think Spanish you will learn quite fast. Hmm. Yeah, Spanish is a comparatively an easy language. Yeah. So. 
sort of an enemy. Haha. <laughs> okay, so you know the story. You know the story. Yes. Um, what do you do after Quincy Seven? You are playing Juve in um, June. It's the last uh, game of the match. You should win as white. <laughs> what do you do? <laughs> Nepal me actually played D5. And uh, but, all, okay. all India Chess Federation was, going crazy. Uh, everybody like on, on the streets yes. watching the match. <laughs> like everywhere. I was kind of, I was house. kind of thinking that I'll double the rooks on the F5. Maybe from rook F3 or rook D3. Um. Yeah. Somi is somewhere there, but uh, my name sometimes. Uh, where is she? What's her name there? Somia, you think? Yes. Yes, I think it is. But where is she? Where is she? Why is Raj ignoring? Raj is never ignoring, guys. It's unfair. I never ignore anyone. Anyone. And Somi, of course, especially Somi, not. So show me where is she? She had a bad internet, is what she said. And. Um, um okay let me see let me see what do you think about Somia by the way uh what what do you think about Somia as in in general good person yeah I think she's really sweet like she's helped me whenever I was uh, like I needed help or uh, I Usually she she's like very she's the best person. She's the best person. To ask advice. And the rest? And the rest? As in who is considered as the rest? Like I mean the rest, I mean okay. For advice, yes, but uh, like in general. I mean she's very but I like her a lot. But not the yeah. best. She <laughs> had <laughs> 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 okay, just asking, just asking for a friend. So it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Just asking. I'm just making the list of the best people in the world of chess. Okay, sure. Yeah. So she's in the list. Okay, clear, clear. Um, and as a chess player, what do you think about Somia? As a chess player, she plays very well. Okay, so you have only good uh, things to say about Somia, right? Yes. Okay, so hard to make it controversial, guys. Sorry. I can't. Yes. I mean, good people on streams, and uh, yeah, good people talking about good people is hard to make it controversial. So let's see the games. Let's see chess. <laughs> so um, d5. Oh, he did d5. Yes, he did d5. Why did he do d5 here? What is the problem? Why d5? Really, rook f3 was just much better, and it's what you would play against Zhu uh, Wenjun, right? Would be the same. No, I, I told you right that I want. To double the rooks, yeah, maybe yeah. on d3, yeah. but rook f3, you said, right? Or this, uh, yeah, one of those two, yeah, one of these two was good, yeah, just doubling on f and uh, pressing on f line, especially that the king is also there, kind of uh, vulnerable after rook f3, rook f1, for example, or d3, f3. Um, d5, knight d5 takes, c takes d5, queen b5, but let's not forget that he has um, not much time, uh, yes, Matlakov. Yes. So in this case, I mean, rook b6 is played, queen d5. Uh, he can go bishop b5 now, maybe, or something. Um, but then oh, bishop b6. Uh, by the way, I think to both won. Like, it's very clearly won. Uh, which I one? don't know if uh, Dubov versus Asabanko. Ah, Dubov is winning, yeah, completely winning. Yes. Karakin is also winning, I think, there. Um, but okay, let's see. Karakin is winning, he's minus 8. So it's good. Oh, wow. And um, Dubov played rook f2. Yeah, he played it. Rook c7. Bishop h3 is what we said, more or less. g6. And now he played rook f6. Beautiful move, look. Yes. Yeah, I mean, he could play e4, probably, bishop e6. But he likes beautiful moves, Dubov. King g8, yes. rook fd6. Rook c2. And now rook c6, d2. And then, okay, it's just completely winning, yeah? Divya, do you like to make like a like a beautiful move over the board? Like yeah, just... who doesn't? No, 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 no. But it depends. It depends. For example, uh, sometimes you see, let's say, the, the really um, an easy win, mm -hmm. and uh, you just see this, and it's just winning clearly. And then you see another move that is also very good, but uh, beautiful. 
what would you prefer the clear win or uh, like kind of a beautiful move to you know uh, is the beautiful move really winning yeah it's still winning still winning um, i would prefer the beautiful the beautiful move yes why are you not pragmatic uh, wait i need to google <laughs> pragmatic you know what's pragmatic um, it is dealing with things sensibly okay so basically you're saying that i'm not sensible no oh. pragmatic what what where did you look at this <laughs> no, all these guys i mean <laughs> i'm sure she has a twitch account let me see let me see pragmatic meaning let me see dealing with things sensibly and realistically in a way that is based on practical rather than theoretical considerations could you just at least read it at, until the end uh, <laughs> to get the whole point or is it like why are you doing this to me, all of you guys? I mean, just taking <laughs> things out of context and then trying to be like really upset. <laughs> oh my God, what is what is going on? What's going on? So, um, yeah, like pragmatic, like let's say, for example, you like uh, something there and um, but you are more pragmatic. You just see, I mean, this is winning and that's it. You don't need to calculate that much. You go for this, I mean, in terms of chess and uh, you're just completely winning. But I mean, not that beautiful, but fine. Just won the game. And, okay, and yeah. I mean, uh, if like i would prefer both it depends on my mood okay okay so uh, could it depend on your mood let's say which move would you choose um okay. uh right now ever uh, between the beautiful Ever. move or uh, between the beautiful move or um the, the the pragmatic move the word you know now already so cool. <laughs> i i would still choose the beautiful move like it um maybe it's uh, like a 70 30 70 percent of the times i'll choose a beautiful move and 30 percent of the times if i'm really tired and the game has been dragging on too long i'll just end it okay okay because capablanca at some point he said that uh, when you see the mate and you you see the uh you know the queen capture and you are completely winning so better capture the queen and don't uh, follow the mate pass and something just don't go there mm -hmm. and just take the queen let the opponent resign and enjoy yeah so um uh, okay oh are you playing tomorrow where are you playing tomorrow i have this tournament of chess base india and it's kind of like a uh with the format of speed chess championship but a, a smaller format okay and how many rounds uh it's a knockout ah it's a knockout Okay, yes. so what time is it? And I shouldn't even be here. I should be busy prepare, uh, preparing. For go my prepare. Game. Go prepare because I mean I, everybody I, will blame I, me instead of this. Uh, I know these no, people. No, no, I won't blame you because I, uh, I just have a little bit to prepare, and also if I prepare a lot before a game, I really hope my opponent's not watching this though. If I prepare a lot uh, before the game, I get tired now. So. Divya, Divya, please, please stick to your schedule because I don't want to be, uh, you know, blamed for for your bad preparation. Let's say, for example. <laughs> no, because, it know, won't happen. Because... I'm just playing for basically. I'm just playing to uh, like get back into shape. I'm playing after three months, so okay. I'm just playing for fun. Okay. Okay. Cool. Cool. But the point is that you know that if, for example, you have, you have played well, everybody will mm -hmm. say, "Oh, uh, Divya yeah. is such a such a genius." I mean, she was on the stream until uh, two a.m. and then she went to the for the tournament mm -hmm. and she won it easily and so on. And if you play bad, they will say, "Oh, Raja with his yes. questions, with tell me Divya fifty times." I mean, he just got her distracted and she couldn't play, poor girl, and so on. So this is really uh, this is really uh, dangerous. Okay, so yeah, it's like. People always have a, something to say, so I just ignore whatever they have to say. Okay, cool, cool. Already good habit for the world champion. <laughs> uh, so, Dubov won. Uh, Nipomnishi is actually winning, it seems. Nipomnishi. Nipomnishi is winning, I think. Okay. Yes, yes. Yes, and he just blundered. He just blundered the bishop, yeah. and now it's lost. Yes. Now he'll be resigned. Yeah, he'll resign now. And Antipov against Karyakin is the last game left there. Um, actually, Sergei is uh, like doing okay here. More than um, okay, actually. He's like winning completely, right? Isn't he winning completely? Yeah, he is. Yeah. He is. Yeah. yeah. If you look at the position, I mean, he just has to bring the 
some piece into the game to, to play some Queen C1 at some point, but how exactly he, he should proceed? Okay, let's say Rook G3, which is a normal move, right? Mm. How exactly to win this? Mm. Maybe you just put pressure on the F5, like something. Like look, F8 maybe not now, but maybe later. Mm, yeah, but uh, you I don't can know. also yeah. uh, double up on the uh, diagonal, like Bishop B6, Queen C5, something later on. Maybe yeah, and the engine suggests Rook G3, Queen C5, and then taking on E5, because F2 is uh, impossible to defend. You can defend F2 after Queen C5, it seems. Um, yes, can we? How? No, you can't. You can't. You can't. Yeah, you, you can't. After queen c5, like rook d2, queen c1 is there, and queen takes d1 and b1. But uh, otherwise, uh, yeah, I don't know. There is no way, yeah, more or less. Just no way to do this. It's just completely winning, right? Yes. So you think he will find it? Oh, he just took on c6. That was the position, right? So he takes there, rook g3. Um, yeah, he outplayed him quite well, I mean, Karakin. Yes. He's positioning playing uh, quite good. Dubov won. Yeah, Dubov won, just resigned, and uh, yeah. Nipomnishi won as well. So Queen takes c6, and you think that Karakin will uh, convert, right? He's a, he's a good yeah. player, yeah, he will convert this. Yes, uh, of course he's a good player. Yeah, he's a good player, and he will convert it. But that's what I said. I mean, uh, yeah, of course. Okay, 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 okay. So if there is a good player, I will never say that he's a good player, right? And your with, with your logic, it's okay, like uh, what? With, with, with with the logic you use in this case, you say of course he's a good player. So it's like uh, I was not supposed to say that he's a good player, was it? Um. What? Okay, Divya. It seems that um, I'm saying some. <laughs> yeah. You said, I mean, I said that Karakin is a good player, and you said, of course he's a good player. Like if uh, yes, I was not supposed to say that. No, it was clear like, without words. It's, it's a known fact. It's like general truth of life. Okay, 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 okay. <clears throat> that's what that's what I say to the people I love. Uh, I say, okay, it's a, it's a fact. So why should I say that? <laughs> that I love you. It's uh, and yeah. And then it's like, uh, they're like, okay, but could you say it at least like a few times? And this is the same, I mean. But let's say Karakin will uh, listen to the stream. He'll be very upset that I didn't say that he's a good player. That uh, everybody should know that just that he's a good player and that's it. No, no, no. I should I should say that. Do you uh, feel like bad when somebody says that you're a good player? No. Why would I feel bad? I don't know. Like, uh, it's clear I'm a good player. Why would you say that? No. No? It's fine? No. Yeah, it's fine. Uh -huh. Like, oh. yeah, it's fine. Okay, so it's good, it's good. So, um, what will your preparation look like for the tournament? What will you do? What is the schedule? I'm not telling. What if my opponent is really watching this? Okay, okay, okay. True, true, true. Dangerous to say that. All the secrets. Um, Yes, Kaivalya. It's uh, it's like I mean, yeah. Okay, it's hard to explain now from 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 the from scratch. If you haven't seen that before the stream, and um, yeah, it will be hard. So um, so how many rounds is it? It is tomorrow. Um, it's just one round. The sad thing is that my game is the starting one. Just one game. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's Wait, knockout. It's yeah, it's knockout, like, so one game per day. Like, with one player, I have to play four games. I have the first match. Okay, but how many, what's the time control? Uh, three plus one. Three plus one, but you play one game per day? No, we play four games in Against a row. one opponent? Yes. Okay, so four game match tomorrow? Yes. Okay, I see, I see, I see. And uh, have you played a lot of Blitz? I I just told you the, that I came from a three-month-long hibernation. So okay. I'm not really expecting anything. Yeah, yeah, but I mean the Blitz itself, maybe you played some or you didn't, yeah? Yeah, I did, I did play a bit. I have to play a bit today. Uh -huh. And tomorrow I'm just going to change. Don't tell, don't tell your preparation, please. Don't reveal. Okay. <laughs> okay. Don't reveal. Shrinath okay, will be sorry. upset. Shrinath will kill yeah. you. 
Yes. He will say, what did you do? I mean, me yeah, yeah. Uh, he will kill us, both of us. He will become a killer after the stream. So, um, <laughs> I think he already wasn't. Uh, uh, he, uh, he's strict, yeah? He's strict, yeah. Huh? No, he's, he's not strict. He's nice. Like, I don't know. Nice killer. It's like very, very tough to appreciate him in front of so many people. When I don't know him in private also. Okay, okay, I see. I see. Oh, so many things I I mean, I discovered today about Srinath. <laughs> that's cool. That's cool. So, um Divya. Yeah. I will not say the rest. I will not say the the the, the next thing. Okay. Already okay. controlling. Already controlling. Um <laughs> Who is um your favorite chess streamer except me? <laughs> Uh, in the Indian community. Indian comedy. Indian community. Ah, in Indian community. I thought Indian comedy because in Indian comedy it's clear <laughs> that it's vidit. Because he's preparing now for for his stand up. Yeah, but um, no, in Indian community. Okay, in Indian community. Let's let's say in Indian community. Okay. Nakamura um... included. <laughs> Supposed to I don't know. Like yeah. I like all of them. And if I don't take even one name, then I'm dead. Okay. Is it Srinath again or just uh, you say <laughs> they will take it badly? No, I like all of them. I'm not giving you any controversy. Controversy I don't need. I just need the, the favorite one. Sometimes there is a favorite. For example, my favorite, um, my favorite is, um, my favorite is um, uh, Samai and uh, Sagar. <laughs> Both S there, like uh, starts with S the names, and uh, also both they have uh, five hundred thousand viewers. I'm very pragmatic in this sense. Five hundred thousand <laughs> viewers, and uh, not bad guys in general as well. Yeah, like cool guys as well. So uh, why not? So these are my favorite. These I are my see. favorite. Yeah, yeah. Very, very pragmatic approach. Uh, and yours, you you would not name, yeah. Okay, I. I like i uh, i have many favorites so i like uh, okay now it's going to depend on whose name i even take first okay we're waiting we're mm -hmm. fine we're here i Go don't ahead. know it's just everyone i like whether they are Samavia, um, Sagavia, and Soumya Didi, Shaina Dana, um, Anish moment moment moment, moment moment you are just you are just mentioning everyone now who was the first yes yes who was yes, the first? Yes, that's the plan. Divya, who was the first? Uh, <laughs> who did I take first? Yeah, who um, was the first name? Who was it? I I don't know. I think the chat will. But you said you said some name first, no? I I don't know. Who did I take first? Nikhil, uh, Vidi. Vidi. Oh, Vidi. Okay. Okay, fine. Let's go with Vidit. Okay, Vidit, yeah. Okay, I I like everyone, but no, I think it would be fair to say Vidit because he's a captain of your team. Uh, you could play more games, or you could uh, <laughs> avoid playing when you don't want. It's fine. Also, um, yeah. Can you tell us the secret? I mean, if it's secret, I don't know because uh, Vidit will mm -hmm. make a video about um, uh, you know him being the team captain. Uh, was he strict? <laughs> was he strict on the like team gatherings, all this like team uh, meetings? Um, I s still want to remain on the team, so uh, uh -huh. no, he was not strict. Actually, he really was not strict. He was like the best captain uh -huh. ever. Okay, but did uh, he didn't shout or something? Yeah, like uh. Like... No, no, no. He 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 always has his calm. I don't know how he gets that. I guess Black Lotus OP. Finally. Yes, yes, it's Black Lotus, of course. Yes, so yeah. he's always calm and like once uh, he needed some games for mm -hmm. a particular player and I I was not playing that round, so I just helped him and sent him a game and he immediately said thank you and that was really next week. Very nice, very nice, very nice. So, super. we're talking about the super captain we did. Yes. Uh, guys, please support to Vidit. And uh, he's soon uh, um, to become a comedian. You know that, yeah? The stand-up. Yes. He will make uh, stand-up with Sagar and uh, who else? Uh, I have no clue. 
Okay, okay, cool. Seems that it's a uh, very popular thing in India. That's going to happen. If you do not have uh, actually, the whole world is tilted right now. Samir Bia is becoming a chess player, and Bia yeah. is becoming a Sandra. That's right. true. That's true. That's true. But uh, do you think that Vidit can win the Comic Town? No, I don't think so because he is too sweet and he won't be able to roast other people. Ah, that's yeah, yeah. That explains a lot. That explains a lot. So, um, so we are clear uh, on. Uh, we clearly know now uh, all the people, all the guys, all the friends, all the enemies, everyone in chat. Now it's clear okay. that um, Devi's goal is to beat the world champion Magnus Carlsen. This is like yes. a big goal. The small goal mm -hmm. is to beat uh, uh, Juven Jun or Juven Jun. I don't know exactly how to uh, pronounce the name, but uh, in any case, um, you know who I'm talking about. And of course, Yifan Hu, if she keeps on playing on the highest level. So this mm -hmm. is the first goal. And uh, the, the, the biggest goal is to beat Magnus Carlsen in the match when Magnus will turn. How, how many years he will turn, you think? Approximate. Um, approximate. 30? No, you? he's 30. He, he turned 30 already. I know I that when, yeah, yeah, Diva, Diva. When when I was um, when I was fourteen years old, the one who was thirty seemed like uh, eighty to me. So uh, <laughs> yeah, so that's normal. That's normal. That's normal. But um, yeah, uh, Carlson is already thirty. So uh, do you think? I mean, how old will he be uh, when when you beat him? Um, I don't know. Maybe thirty five, forty something. 35 40 yeah that's true already will be like kind of uh, tilting a bit uh there is a good <laughs> chance to score against him even though he's uh, he's very uh, like uh, he's in a good condition and and of course looking after himself both physically and chess wise working a lot so divya um on the match on the match on the match who would be your coaches except not let's say if it's today uh, imagine today you play a match against carlson and you have mm -hmm. a possibility to um to hire any coach in the world you want yes yeah so who would be your coaches like uh Indians? i'll just steal magnus's coach no who i'll just steal magnus's coach whoever is his coach then he can leak magnus's trap to me and i'll just prepare against it so you would steal um uh, nielsen um who is magnus's coach nielsen peter peter heine nielsen uh, oh, okay. It's uh, Gustafsson was there as well in the team. Uh, Fresine, I think. Dubo from time to time was helping. And uh, who else? Who else? Who else? Who else is there, guys, in the chat? Please remind if there was some someone else. No, that's it. That's How about I take the whole world? Do, it doesn't have to be uh, one person. Uh, no, no. You can uh, you can take few. It's fine. So, so you would have so, a huge team like many players or uh, like few players that you totally trust on, on the openings or something i have not even thought of it oh my god i'm just focused on just playing tomorrow's tournament okay I'm okay passing. okay focus on it yeah okay focus on yes. it because yeah yeah do this and uh, later we can discuss still still we have five to ten years right for magnus to reign yes yes maybe Maybe less, guys. Maybe less. <laughs> maybe maybe a bit more, but still, yeah, still it's fine. Still it's fine. Um, so DVM, uh, we wish you good yes. luck tomorrow in tomorrow's games and um, yes, to enjoy it. Most of all, not the good luck you don't need, but I mean just uh, to enjoy it, to come back to shape. Just feel that uh, you are practicing well, and uh, I know I know the feeling when you didn't play for some time. Uh, it's a bit annoying, but uh, anyway, yes. I hope you you come back to shape. Feel the you know the this. Uh, tactical stuff and so on is back the vision and everything like the sharpness and uh, i hope you focus well also on chess nowadays Thank you. Uh, skip school and uh, beat magnus carlson easy plan for next 10 years <laughs> we've got on yes. the stream thank you thank, thank you, you so much for coming now. and next time hopefully my video will work as well and it will be okay thank you so much <laughs> yes thank you thank bye. you very much it was a pleasure talking to you thank you bye bye yes same here bye thank you bye Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
what can I say? I, I, I don't understand how they do this uh, in India. How you do this in India is like uh, when uh, not only you are a great talent, but also a great, uh, you have a great personality, very uh, like super polite, like very nice, talking, talkative and uh, cool, cool guys. I don't know how you do this, how you do this. It's very cool. It's very cool. So she came for the stream. She um, expressed her opinions on this. I'm very grateful. Even though that, uh, even though uh, that she couldn't uh, reveal her preparations and a lot of stuff as well, uh, I think it's very nice of her. I mean, she really, uh, she really is a nice person, and uh, we exchanged the messages uh, during the Olympiad. Uh, I was trying to cheer her up because she had some some games that were really um, kind of um, uh, not her level. Let's say, let's call it this way, and uh, she could play much better. And uh, she also wrote me a lot of good stuff when I was playing like bad chess from time to time. Um, yeah, so I, I'm really grateful because she really was supportive and uh, it's very nice of her. So guys, uh, very nice that you have this kind of talents uh, uh, in India. And um, she's going to beat Magnus Carlsen is what she said. And we hope for in five to 10 years. And uh, Adiban is in the chat. And when Adiban is in the chat, what, what does it mean? Mm, basically nothing, but it's fun. It's fun, but uh, it's nice to see him. Nice to read his uh, comments. He's a great guy, Adiban. He's a great guy. Um, nowadays, he's like very politically correct. And uh, I mean... I mean, very politically correct person, very, um, very cautious about what is he saying. Yeah. Let me see the, let me see the game of Karyakin, because I hope he won it. Oh, uh, knight h4, queen c4, rook d3. And yeah, now it's, now he's winning by rook b3 and many other moves like rook d8, even maybe it's more easy. Even rook d7 was happening, probably also winning completely, yeah. So any move wins now, more or less, but uh, he has to find just uh, to deliver final final blow here. Win the game, let me see who else is there. Adiban Bashkaran is there, and... Um, um, Adiban... How was your stream? Can I ask? Aravin Shwaminathan says that what? Since when did AD become politically correct? Since one of our streams, of recent streams, uh, almost on any question he was saying uh, no comments. And uh, I also didn't recognize him immediately, but uh, yeah, that was that was unexpected. yeah yeah thank you very much guys all of you for the for the questions super chats adiban for this beautiful chat so happy to see you all and um you see i mean well just having we're finding reasons finding reasons to stream happily streaming to russian super final and um, we'll probably stream more of it. I am actually interested in these games and a lot of exciting players there. Like uh, all of these guys are playing like cool chess. Sergey, I think, is now also in shape, so he can produce really good chess. Uh, Adiban rated no. Let me see. Let me see the statistics. What did Adiban do there? Analytics. Oh, AD, what, what do you mean? Did you raid the channel? Because it's like 50 people more that came. But yeah, thank you very much, AD. So nice of you. Oh, such a friend, such a friend, such a good friend, AD. Um, mm, 
But Devin Anand is saying that Raja had asked this earlier. Players like Parima Janegi say that it's important to have a backup as you can get burnt out or feel demotivated and want a change in life. What backup? What backup are you talking about, guys? If, mm, if Negi, if Negi, uh, Parima Jan Negi, if he is studying in US, yeah, okay, maybe, yeah, that's true, that's true. I mean, uh, yeah, he's studying in US, I think. If you study in a great, in a good university and you have a good, uh, like, uh, job afterwards, you can have a good professional, say, then yeah, that's that's okay, that's okay, of course. But otherwise, um, I don't know, I don't know. I would prefer to be a professional chess player, the, the world champion like Divya wants to be, uh, and so on. Yeah. I think that uh, if you have this kind of talent, I mean, you should uh, generally work towards this goal. Uh, I mean, really um, make use of your talents and uh, work on one thing rather than really start 50 other activities and then be unsuccessful in all of them or s most of them. Yeah, I would prefer someone like Divya, for example, with a uh, huge chess talent and like to be fully focused on chess and yeah, and play on the highest level. That's my opinion. That's my opinion. And it doesn't mean that you should skip school tomorrow. And tomorrow there is no school probably in, in nowhere, but still. Okay, on Monday. Even if it's in Zoom. Um, Part Chukla says, Raja, is it true that players like Fisher are gold gifted? Probably, probably, but a lot of work, hard work and dedication, obsession about the game, of course. Mm. What is the um, MIT like, like, uh, MIT like um, uh, institute in uh, India? What is it called? Can you please tell me? Adiban says that views express are personal. Raja 2020. Yeah. Personal. First and jokes as well. Um, let me see the board. Let me see the games. Okay. Okay, what is it like? Mm, yeah, he found this rook d7, and now it's completely winning. It's the most easy move that I, I mean, oh, he didn't. He didn't yet, yeah. Okay, rook d7. I don't know, rook d7 just wins the game. I don't know what he's thinking about here. It's completely winning after rook d7. Okay, let's wait for this. Um. Yeah, IIT. What is IIT? Tell me. Divya is googling pragmatic. I am googling IIT which she for sure knows okay I bought this keyboard it has this kind of sound but I like it Indian Institutes of Technology oh yeah oh yeah okay oh it looks cool okay cool yeah so IIT old or the world crown chess and probably Divya will become the IT engineer possibly um yeah Devin we will set up something we, we talked about it yeah 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 um Indian Institute of Technology yeah I understood it I'm yeah thank you got it Mihir says it's like the best college of India, but how much does the education cost there? What is the price for the education, like yearly? Um, uh, guys, when you're laughing there for the about the world crown, uh, in Russian, for example, when you say the, uh, the chess crown, let's say, the chess crown, world crown, whatever, I mean, uh, uh, it's, it's just a normal saying. That's why, I, I, that, I mean, completely just translated it and that's it. 
Adiban Bashkaran is asking which DV is he talking about? Oh man, oh man. He's not he's not working on his uh he's not working on his uh muting uh capabilities. How much guys? I don't get it. How much per month? Twelve locker, okay. yeah and um yeah that's good yeah that's good in us i mean they have like 50k per year uh which is uh it's not easy to afford right it's like a lot so many messages guys i don't know why like uh exactly during the during the streams everyone who wanted to send me a message ever starts to message me like that's unbelievable Goraf Rolkwar says uh, two kidney per year guys such a nice chat I have such a nice chat all these people are so cool yeah so it's 20k USD for four year that that's very nice yeah that's that's cool that's really good. And the fees is not a problem, only 10,000 out of 1 million get in. Wow, yeah. But okay, MIT also is very hard like to get on the to get in there, yeah, enrolled. Smithshaw says, "Can we have a stream on cryptocurrencies?" Yeah. As an idea, we will. Um, uh, Sanat Kumar says that Google, uh, Google CEO is from uh, IIT. Is Sundar Pichai, no? Sundar Pichai is from IIT. He's not an. He's not. Uh, I think he's not the um, CEO of Google. He's CEO of Alphabet. Yeah, but it's uh, Alphabet, the company generally called Alphabet, and uh, it includes Google. Um. Acceptance rate IIT 0.02%. Wow, that's insane. Wow, how is that possible? That's why I'm telling you, even, even better, everybody should play chess. Everyone. Harish M says, call Vitali Buterin from Ethereum for cryptocurrency stream. Um, I think he had a stream with I think he had a stream with uh, Bottas, right? Ether, uh, Ethereum founder Vitalik Buterin, yeah. Amanta Lab says no CEO of Alphabet is Larry Page. Okay, let me see. Yeah, maybe that's right. Maybe he's CEO of Google. Sundar Pichai. No. No, Sundar Pichai is the CEO of Alphabet. Uh, Larry Page is one of the founders, but Larry Page uh, and Sergey Brin as well. Yeah, Larry Page, um, CEO.
No, it's Sundar Pichai. And Larry Page uh, stepped down as a CEO of Alphabet. Yeah. Okay, that's what that's what I remembered. But okay. Um, What's going on there? Somi is writing something. Somia Swaminathan says, uh -huh, I saw you, I was your favorite Divya. Her internet is not working well, so she can uh, send messages twice. So it's fine. Mm. Sanjay, love Angel Arya. Well, Rajabai, love you. You love Angel Arya or me? Oh, Sanjay, Sanjay. Sanjay, Sanjay. Why did you do this? So let me see. Biswa studied from IIT. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, that's cool, that's cool. Okay, let me see if you finish the game. Why is Sergey thinking so much after this? Can we refresh it? Man, why is he taking so much time? It's completely winning. What does he see after rook d7? Just wants to finish the game completely and... Clearly he knows that he's winning. Mm, Sukrit Kumar is asking what is my typing speed, but it's, uh, it's just normal. Yeah, the boomers, they, 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 they do this uh, very well, yeah. Just a typing. In terms of typing, I can be uh, quite, uh, you know, quite okay. What is happening with my Zoom, actually, I will have to check today and uh, uh, see what happened with this uh, window capture and stuff. Okay, let me see the Karakens game. Guys, he still didn't play a move after rook hd3. I don't know what's going on there. What is he calculating in this position? Is completely winning for black. That's really strange. I mean, it's so convenient for, for, for black. Like... Um, rook b3, rook d7, rook d8. Even King H7 is just winning, then Bishop takes E5. Just interesting, what, what is he calculating here? It doesn't seem that high. Anki Travat, yeah, probably. Yeah, maybe he asks for the uh, stream on cryptocurrency, probably, probably. Would be happy, but uh, yeah, have some thoughts about it. Um, so John Wick or James Bond, your favorite, your attire reminds us of John Wick. Yeah, I like John Wick, but the, the James Bond is my like kind of favorite. Uh, all these movies, depends, I mean, on the actors, of course. Uh, the, the latest James Bond is not, is not the one that I like that much in terms of um, like kind of James Bond he plays. But let's say the other was just, uh, yeah, there were many good, good ones that I liked. Uh, M. Mr. D. Cipher, like Rajabu, how do you stop thinking of chess positions in the back of your head? For reference, Google Chess Tetris effect. Yeah, it's not easy sometimes. Let's say, especially after the hard game. Let's say if you have played it. Um. It's hard, you know. After such games, you get like this kind of perception. 
you, you see a lot of analysis there, like you, you analyze it all the time in your head, and then it's like very hard to just come back to the normal calm state of mind. It's really hard. Um, yeah, you need some time. So usually we do a uh, kind of analysis after the game, uh, like a post-mortem it's called. So uh, we look at the games and, uh, you know, try to analyze it to get it clear in your head so that you don't have too many lines uh, uh, popping up over and over again. And yeah, but not that easy, especially if you lost some game and uh, you were like close to winning and then it just spoiled it all, like after some terrible move. Yeah then it's unpleasant and it's hard to get rid of it you have to analyze the game and then like like uh slow by slow get it off your head and that uh, just uh enjoy the rest of the tournament and preparations so let me see what else is there guys karyakin will make his move uh, or he wants the yeah he did he did rook b3 <clears throat> now now what completely winning for him so king g2 probably no king g2 queen takes e4 as well as possible i don't know why did he take so much time for this rook b3 what do you say Maybe he just saw some rook d7 or bishop takes the five ideas, like king h7 is easier. Um, yeah, this looks to be winning now. And uh, Antipov has like 14 minutes, 15 minutes. But uh, the problem is not time, the problem is position and just the fact that uh, black is totally dominating here. I mean, rook d7 is the next and uh, we'll pick up the d3. e5 is also in the air there, hanging, bishop b6 is possible. I mean, the most important factor here is that the pawn on b2 is just so well and far advanced uh, that it's just nothing to do, more or less, with this. Now he will have to decide if he goes king g2, rook d2 or whatever, but all of it loses. So let's see just the final of this game. Let me read the chat. Mm -hmm. uh, Sri Hari Lakshminarash Lakshminaras guys again uh, Sri Hari Lakshminaras Simhan is it correct that I say this which is your best kid game ever Raja um ever 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 let me think let me think um i liked a lot my win against uh, Shirov in one of the linarises where i won a great technical game there in the end game uh was quite fun and nice also certainly kasparov's game can be one of the best in terms of like uh very memorable like memorable and like really uh re really cool uh, one of the games I've played in the Rapid Championship in Qatar against uh, Bortnik, was it? Was also very cool, I think. And um, there are many guys. I mean, there was one that I liked very much when I was a kid against Gagunashvili at the time in Baku. Yeah, and many many other games like um, the Kings Indian games, the the game again, one of the games against one Veli in Beal, I think that I won, very complicated one. Um, what else? What else? What else? In the World Cup against uh, Wasilia Graf, I think was a great game as well. The one that I won in the semi-finals as white. Imran Hussein is asking, is position more important than material as Alpha Zero suggests? Yeah. Yeah, certainly. You should understand a lot of stuff there, but, but like, I mean, there are a lot of details that may uh, affect this evaluation, but this is really, really important. Yeah, of course it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, it's more important than the material. If it's uh, used right, I mean, if it's used right in the right way, yeah, 
but otherwise uh, of course if you just have a like a simple playable position where just one side has a you know material advantage then you will end badly normally of course if it's a kind of an balanced structure more or less balanced balanced position and then you have a material up certainly uh, this side that has the material up will be will be on top so it's clear um Kamran Alif is asking, um, do you watch other sport activities, favorite team? Okay, so for the tennis is my favorite, more or less. And uh, Federer is a favorite uh, tennis player. But um, yeah, I watch some other stuff. Like um, I watch for, for a long time, actually, the snooker games, like snooker championships, like Ronnie O'Sullivan and all these guys uh like my maguire was there and everything and uh what else the football i al always uh, always watch like the european championships european championships uh, like world cups as well like world cups and uh champions leagues like starting from quarterfinals usually um uh, national teams like football let's, football let's say if it's the if it's the world cup it was always brazil if it's just national teams, uh, of course, it's Azerbaijan, it's clear. But uh, of course, I, I mean, it's a dream if we it's a dream if we qualify for the for the World Cup or European Championship would be cool. But for the moment, uh, we have not qualified there. So Brazil is a pick for the World Cup and for the Europeans. I usually do not have a favorite. I'm um, just watching a great football that they play. <clears throat> Okay, let me see what else is there. Devin and opinion on this sentiment that you prefer playing with black more than white at times. No, Devin, it's not true. I mean, I, I prefer to play like uh, maybe as white, I would prefer to play more. But it's just that some of my wins came as black and they were really amazing, like in terms of the world champ, beating the world champions and uh, scoring a great, great games and like playing, scoring well and also playing the great games. Um, maybe that would plays the role but i prefer to play as white for example if i have like three whites or three blacks in the tournament i would prefer three whites and uh, this is kind of helpful helpful from time to time especially that uh, you know you can um, dictate more or less the course of the game uh, you have more chances uh, to win rather than lose and all that so yeah um When Katani Har is asking, uh, Raja, where is the tea? Well, the tea uh, will be there very soon. And also I will have to take uh, something to eat because uh, to have the dinner is also necessary, especially after 4.30 uh, streaming experience of today. A very cool one. Um, okay, there is a question from Akash Srif. Uh, Hi, Raja. According to you, who is the most likely to succeed Magnus as world champion? According to the games I watch, I think it will be Feruja. Uh, your views uh, well I think for the m right for now maybe uh, let's be uh, fair and say that the top few players in the world like uh, Caruana and uh, like top two number two and number three maybe they have um, preferable chances according to rating and uh, situation now in chess but uh, I think the entire top 10 has good chances and from the youngsters uh, yeah Firuj is very strong uh do they strong there are many players it's very hard to judge because the world champion is a very unique uh, title and uh, who will beat the world champion is hard to say for example i wouldn't expect at the time gelfen to beat anand but he was so close in his match against anand um unexpectedly close to win the match so um would you expect at the time let's say karakin to beat carlson but he was like really close super close he won the game and he could win the second one lead plus two and it would be like really cool uh, i mean he would if you would make one draw at least there in that game uh that he he lost as as black and also as white he was winning in some of the games who could lead like plus two would be very hard to catch and he would become a world champion so uh yeah it's hard to say in advance it's very hard to say in advance but of course youngsters like elite youngsters that we have now like this elite players 27 and more uh they have chances to challenge uh carlson for the crown as anyone else from the top 10 and top top 20 30 players in the world um 
Kushal Sheshagiri is asking about uh, the games uh, against Aronian. Did you feel extra pressure during the match against Livon Aronian? Um, no, I already answered this question today. Uh, we're professionals, we're fighting, we're uh, professional chess players playing against each other for, for many, many years. For many, many years. And uh, as professionals, uh, we try to focus on the game, fight against each other. Of course, if any side wins there, uh, me or Aronian, we're very happy about winning the game. And uh, that's it. We try as professionals to put a lot of things aside, but certainly we we kind of celebrate and happy about uh, beating each other. As a chess players of the professional level, it's always nice to win against uh, you know, top 10 player, for example, and so on. Uh, yeah, I will not elaborate uh, on any other subject regarding this, but uh, we're just professionals doing our best on the highest level. We do not have uh, something outside of the board uh, influence us, and uh, we, we may have we, we have a lot of different, uh, of course, uh, um, games and matches that we have played throughout the career, and uh, there were a lot of good and bad losses for both of the sides. But uh, it was always interesting uh, matches and fights, and uh, even the recent one that was played in in, in this uh, skilling open was very fighting and uh, interesting game. Hope you enjoyed. So yeah, was was a good fight. Um. Okay, guys. I think that uh, we can call it a day. Clearly, I think we've made a good one, and uh, was very very pleasant for me to talk to Divya, young talent, super strong chess player, and uh, potential threat for Magnus Carlsen for Magnus Carlsen and his uh, his reign is what he sets herself as a goal which is cool and very nice to hear thank you so much for being with me today being with me today and um, thank you so much um, everyone for the chat super chat help with the zoom that didn't work uh, good and bad words and uh, great evening together thank you so much guys Hearts to you as well. I can, I, I, I would not send them because anyway, I'm, I'm saying it in life, so it's cool. And uh, thank you so much, and hopefully see you soon. I will decide on the streams and will certainly schedule something with uh, some guests and will improve on my Zoom capabilities and uh, you know, we'll master the the Zoom OBS and all that stuff. Hopefully, thank you so much. Have a great evening and a great weekend. Bye-bye, guys.